for you, the president. What? What? That's not why you called. Hosted by Lefty. I deserve to be blown. Dr. Chiz. One more chance. Thursday, 7 p.m. Central. It's That's Not Why You Called. And here we go. Welcome, That's Not Why You Called, episode 7. We are back after a brief hiatus. Very brief. We took a week off. I am your host, Lefty, welcoming everybody. I said that's not what I called, didn't I? I said that's not what I called, because I screwed up all the time, because I'm an awful, awful host. Anyway, hashtag TNWIC, that's not why I called episode seven, locked in for you right here as Chiz lights up a cigarette. Welcome all of you, and as always, we appreciate as we get started. If you like the stream, I do love seeing those rolls of like ratings coming on the Twitter. And, of course, it also, if you want to help out the show and help us grow as a show, as a community, that's a great way to do it. So if you like something we say, hit the like button. Um, If you don't like it, hit that like button all the same, because screw it. (laughs) Anyway, I'm your host, Lefty. You can follow me at Lefty643 on Twitter. Across the way there is my uh, my cancerous co-host, at Dr. Chiz. You can follow him on Twitter. His also his YouTube uh, link is in the description, and I'm going to unmute you guys, so if you say something, you can actually be heard now. I'm oh, out of practice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was nice. I was making, because you said I like some rolls, so I was like, you like some rolls? Well, everybody got to see you do the pantomime. <laughs> I repeated it twice, because I was Everybody like, got to see you do the pantomime, so it's not that big of a deal, is it? But they don't know the reason And of course, Katie, it. our lovely... Know, I was just having a weird outrage and just scratching myself. Paul, well, that's... <laughs> Why is that so far out of line with how you normally are on the show? It's not. But just they- randomly touching yourself. Just like, ah. Love it. Anyway, and our lovely producer, Katie. Everybody say hi to Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. So, Katie, hi, why did Katie. we... <laughs> Jiz, you got new tech. New I microphone. New tech. Yes. Pretty. See? Mm-hmm. Looks familiar. I got a loop. Does it, lo- it looks familiar, doesn't it? I've seen that microphone somewhere else before. I'll put my shirt up I, over this part of it so I, it looks the same. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Actually, this is an undersized one. This is supposed to be for a normal microphone. And as you can see, Chiz, the Rode Procaster is just a... It's a big fucking black dick. <laughs> it's a two-pound mic. It's it it metal. is. It is. It's a, it's a gigantic... It's bigger than the, uh, than the Electro Voice <clears throat> RE20, I think. Which is what a lot of Good. radio guys use, but no, this this is a standard microphone. I don't know whatever the standard size is for handheld microphones, and this I got this this um, this windscreen at uh, at Radio Shack, and I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll it'll fit, it'll fit. And no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Barely the tip. Barely, it's just the tip. Oh god! Quite You're literally, like that matters. Quite, <laughs> quite literally, just the tip of. Um, on the microphone. Anyway, if you want to get in touch with the show, if you want to reach us live directly, you can tweet us hashtag TNWYC on Twitter. Just add that to your tweet anywhere, pound. and uh, and we will see a pound pound sign TNW pound time. pound time. It's also pound time for a week. Last week pound time. Oh That's- my god! Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> I, 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 Stop I, I it. had no, to do it. I did. Yep, yep, no, yep. no, no, bones, no. bones, <laughs> bones, bones. <laughs> Every, I want to see everybody oh. tweet me pictures of you bonesing your screen right now. To me. Yeah. <laughs> Bones. No, no, no. Not that kind of boning your screen. No. No, that was last week. All yes. right. Let's get it right, folks. <laughs> so segue, before you started talking about my new tech, you were gone last week. We were gone last week. We took the week off on, uh, on Thursday because Katie made a little trip. I did. Hmm. Big trip. <laughs> oh, big trip. Whoa, big trip. what are you insinuating? Was that a... Wait. Well... If it's a fat joke, it's bad. But if no. it's a, if she's talking about something else, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I told you I'd find a way to work that. I told. I told you I would find a way to work that into the show. It's good. <laughs> I can't breathe. 
Uh, but anyway, yeah, Katie, uh, I I flew Katie out here, so we spent a we spent a week together. I'm sorry, you guys are very important to me. I'm seeing I'm seeing all the likes coming through on Twitter right now, and I appreciate every single one of them. I really do, and I thank all of you. Ah, see, there we go. At music OG. Oh, there's Cody Burke on Twitter. Everybody, hashtag me the bones. Love it. Uh, of course, hashtag TMWIC. No, um, I love you all of you, and thank you all for for everything. But um, Katie and I were spending some time together, and um, and it was very special. And I just, you know, it was it was the last night, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, we wanted to. It was. Yeah. Yeah. So what did we do? Oh yeah, we went and got drunk with my dad. We right? did. We did, and we solved it. Wait, you did. Weird way. You didn't. No. Why not? Wow. Oh, never mind. That's right. You didn't. Goddamn right. He was in Canada at the time. Lefty lives in Toronto. I do. I am from <laughs> Toronto Run with it. and Alberta <laughs> at the same time. I am really Canadian. Hey. <laughs> no, uh, Katie didn't get drunk. But she was there, and she helped solve all the world's issues. And so it, it, was, a, it was a fun time. She got, to, she got the whole experience, as it were. And um, Don't you mean you got the whole experience? No, no, no. She got the whole experience. Many done yet? What? Stop it! I was talking about recording videos. God, I was, I was telling you. I was showing you without a W. Oh, yeah. But uh, no, we re we actually recorded some videos. I involved her in my process. Oh God! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> really? <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Oh, that really wasn't. I swear to God, it wasn't. But. Oh, um, <laughs> Wow. So yeah, it was fun, and uh, you know what? There's some. There could be some good things coming from that. What? Katie had a really nice time out here. Did you not? I did. I, okay. I did. So, everybody like and favorite, so that I can afford to fly Katie out here more often, perhaps on a permanent basis. Like and favorite. You're gonna fly her on a permanent basis? Why not? That doesn't seem very. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep her going around the world. Yeah. I'm gonna doesn't... buy a G4 jet and just keep it. You know what? I'm gonna okay. liaise. I don't like planes, but why not? I'm gonna liaise with the with the Air Force so she can just have KC-135 tankers just all the all the way just flying around the world. This could work for you. She doesn't like planes. Put her in a situation where you're her hero, and you land the plane. So I'm like that guy from Unbreakable. I'm Samuel L. Jackson from yes. Unbreakable, where I'm just inciting huge disasters. Except I'm the one inciting it, but I'm the one trying to be the hero. Exactly. Hmm. You know, work. I thought about that. I was like, what happens if I'm if I go to the airport to pick her up and there's like a shooting at the airport? What? You thought of that? Yeah. I was okay. like, would I would I would I run like a bitch or would I No, I would protect <laughs> Katie and I was like, would I would I fight what if, back no, no, to no, protect no, no. What, her? Not if she had already landed. What if she you were waiting like it's like, oh, she's got 15 minutes and she's going to land and then shit breaks loose and people Oh, go, I'm hiding in the toilet. <laughs> I'm in the stall. Just like I'm si I'm sitting on the I'm sitting Well, you're not on the ground yet. Okay? Once you hit the ground, I'm super fucking commando special op shit, okay? <laughs> but until that point, I am I'm conserving my energy in the in the bathroom stall with my feet up. So if they do the if they do the look thing, if they like What if, if they kick the door open? What? Oh, then I'm in the last one, and I jump out and break the door like Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies. It's basically going to be that scene. If terrorists try to take over the airport, it's that scene in True Lies with, uh, with the terrorists in, uh, in the bathroom in the mall. And then I'm going to get on a horse. I'm going to find a horse, get on it, ride it through the terminal, and pick Katie up. You've seen that movie so many times. It's such a great movie. It I've is, seen it too many times. It's, it's a good movie. No, there's no such thing as too much true lies. Uh, there, there is. No, there isn't. No such thing as too much true lies because that is one of the one of the great Arnold Schwarzenegger roles, especially because oh oh what's his Tom Arnold is Tom perfect. Arnold is good in it. Yeah, Tom Arnold is amazing really in that role as just the degenerate like. I've got like five different wives, and uh, he's because that's him. That's his character. Yeah, that's Tom Arnold. And uh, and yeah, so True Lies. If you haven't seen it, please do. It's on UMC or not UMC, AMC it's all the time. AMC, yeah, AMC and TNT occasionally. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a good directed by James Cameron for the longest time. I didn't know that until I watched Entourage that James Cameron directed True Lies. Oh, didn't well, know that. News the day. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's your news from the day. Anyway, that's our time, guys. We got to get out of here. That's the show. I'm just kidding. Bye. <laughs> like and favorite. Like and favorite. Anyway, hashtag TNWIC is is uh, is when we.
when you want to get in touch with the show. So how you liking the new mic? Everybody let us know in the comments of the video how Chiz sounds, not those those horse sounds that he's making. I wasn't trying to make them, but now I want to make them. I'm going to stay out of this one. Gosh. Come on, Katie, just do one. No, I'm good. Just do one. I'm fine. The okay. viewers want it. Really? You have that red mane, though. I want it. Yeah, that is... No. I want to see it done. No. <laughs> Maybe later, not now. Why? <laughs> wow. Wait. Well, okay. Now I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> Because if it can't be done in a public setting, yeah, I don't. Know uh, what this horse no, no. noise involves. Are you just gonna? Are you gonna start stamping your foot? Should I get some sugar cubes? <laughs> Do I get some sugar cubes and a carrot, maybe? Or something? Sounds good. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best segment ever of the show. <laughs> Probably ever. You had a week to play horse. All right, let's calm it down a bit. <laughs> and whores. We played horse oh, and horse. Snap. You stop. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that has to do with anything, but it just it makes you uncomfortable. So I'm going to giggle like an idiot. Yeah, why would you get offended by that unless you are a whore and nobody knows? There's no reason to get offended, and you're not a horse. So You are not a horse. Those things you just... I don't think. You don't you think? Really? You don't think. <laughs> anyway. Um, so in the, in the breaker. stead, in our stead last week, what's Steed. been going on? <laughs> Steed, again, back to the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chiz, what have you been doing on your YouTube channel? If you want to check them out, youtube.com slash Dr. Coffee MD in, uh, in the description. You've been uploading. What have you, what's that, uh, what's that zombie, the moon zombie? I Is that a did. mod? Yeah, or? it's a mod. Okay. Please explain. We played higher which this particular map designer revolves everything around 420 and he makes good maps. And then now that's being uploaded is Moon. And it's really interesting. I've never played one like that because it's not usually there's like a Bible ending that will you win or you mm -hmm. just try to last forever. This one, it's whoever ends up with the highest score and you just keep going forever. And okay. you're just killing zombies. They drop guns, COD 4 guns. You pick them up and shoot them. And I might run around with M40 going, ah! <laughs> So this is a mod for um for what for what game? Call of Duty World at War for Steam. You can go ahead and get it for nineteen ninety nine right now. Lefty currently has it. Maybe he'll play some custom zombies with me one day if he's not busy jerking off to little Nay Nay over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I love me some horse porn. Oh my God! Good stuff. Oh. Equestrian. <laughs> When that shit comes on the on in the fucking on like NBC you gotta get or like something, the two tone ponies, the two tone, not all black, you know, like <laughs> some red and some white in there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All up, all the all. The when they nay, it's just oh god, just it chills down your spine. Mm -hmm. Bareback too, no saddle. Oh uh, no, you gotta break them real good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I ride them hard and long and take them around broken. the corral. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep, we're gonna jump over some damn hurdles. We're gonna do that little prancy thing through the. Through the through the like, you're just gonna raise up the one of water. leg. Yeah, raise up the one leg. Mm -hmm. Go around the barrels. Just go around the barrels and stuff. Water polo. That's not good for the horse. No, it's mean. It's not good for the horse too. The horse no. don't like being in the water either. I'm sure you could pay a whore enough to get her in the water. Probably. I don't have that kind of money. I'm sure it would take much, honestly. You don't think so? You don't think it would take a lot of money to get a whore in the... I think if you threw in a Snickers, it would like sweeten the deal enough to get her in the water. But what are they doing in the water? Are they just in the water? That's up to you. Whores are... Like, I, what's the base cost to get... To, if, I, if I went up to a whore somewhere, what's the base cost to get that into the pool? Just in the pool. I don't, I don't want to have sex with you. I would tag I don't on want any $20 to whatever they charge for their normal hourly rate. All right. $20. So just like I want thirty minutes of you in the pool. So whatever your hourly rate is, half of that plus twenty bucks, get in the pool. Yeah. And you tell them to do what they want. Yeah, I mean, you what if I just want to swim? What if it's just a pool party? Let's just come on over and hang out for the pool party. You don't have to have sex with anybody. You don't have to dress promiscuously. If you want one piece bathing suits, that's fine. You have to provide them, of course. <laughs> This sounds like a horrible fucking pool party. This is the best pool party ever. I have to pay people to come. No one's getting fucked. You can wear a one piece. What's this wrong with one pieces? One pieces suck. One pieces aren't bad. Especially if I'm paying for a whore. 
See, You're lucky but... if I give you a rubber ducky, all right? <laughs> uh-huh. You better know how to swim or you're just going to drown for 20 minutes. <laughs> you, well, you know, human beings float generally. I don't think generally. know how to swim. They don't have to know how to swim. They, they're naturally buoyant. But that's the thing. People are naturally buoyant. But people that even can't swim, the reason they fucking drown is because they freak the fuck out and start throwing their arms up in the air and shit and freaking out. And then they go under. And then uh-huh. they swallow water. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to drown... Or land you don't want to get shot in Chicago. Horse should be good at that. Horse should be down. perfect because all you have to do is just lay on your back. You're just just like, lay ah. down. Lay down and take it. Just lay down do. and just lay down and take the buoyancy. That's all exactly. you gotta just take, take the buoyancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just lay down and take it. Like a dead fish. That's all you gotta do. So it's just rude. Whores would be perfect at a at a pool party <laughs> where they're where they're drowning. So just lay on the back. Respectful to dead fish. Oh. Yeah, those poor dead fish. Anyway. The horse cunt probably smells like a dead fish. All right. Then we've officially yeah. taken it too far. Okay. So. Got to find a way to segue somehow. <laughs> segue to what? I don't know. Whatever the next tangent is on the docket. But then it wouldn't be a tangent. It would be a topic. If we had a list of tangents, they would no longer be tangents. I don't have anything written down. I don't either. I do. Katie does. I always do. Katie, what I do you know. have written down? What are we supposed to do? All right, here's where we're, we're going to start a new damn segment. Sometime before we get into the meat and potatoes of the show, Katie is going to tell us what we're supposed to do. For talking about. Can we get it off the horse stuff? Like, oh, you can just... certainly get the horse no, off. No, 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 stop, no, no, no. Stop Maybe I got the horse doing off. the weird horse know. noises. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Katie is going to tell us what we're supposed to talk about. And then Go. at the end of the show, Katie is going to tell us what we actually did talk about. <laughs> just so we can recap how absolutely bad this show is. That's the new segment. Was horses on uh, the list? Horses, no. I don't think. Horses neither horses nor whores were on the list. No. Nor pool parties. Nope. Okay, what was on, what's on the list, Katie? What were we supposed to talk about? Um, we have upcoming games that were announced at E3. Okay. Um, we okay. have the Sony and Microsoft taking shots at each other. Um, EA and Ubisoft, Prism. It's Ubisoft. Oh, whatever. It's Ubisoft. I don't care. It's like the it's like the guy that created the the dot gif format. That's like it's pronounced GIF. Kiss my ass. It's GIF. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. I'm not gonna agree with you on the Ubisoft one. Oh, you just said it was Ubisoft. You just said Ubisoft. I said it for you. I always say Ubisoft. I say Ubisoft. I think it sounds I've better. Said Ubisoft. No, um, Ubisoft sounds anyway. stupid. Ubisoft. As opposed to say Ubisoft. That sounds offensive. <laughs> Well, yeah, hey, Lefty, if she doesn't start neighing, you be soft. Ah, ah, bad. Back to horses. <laughs> <laughs> Just bad, bad comedy. No, I, I, I say you be soft. I think it's Ubisoft. Just, it sounds weird to me. It's, it, it's French. So? So that's why it sounds weird we to We take you. in bastardized French terms all the damn time. We do. But anyway, I pronounce rendezvous. it. Rendezvous. I pronounce it you. Do you say rendezvous? Uh, no. You say rendezvous. I do say rendezvous. I have a rendezvous with death. I have a rendezvous with a horse and you be I have a rendezvous with death. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so on the docket, E3 games, E3 yep. in general, Microsoft versus Sony, and mm-hmm. um, anything else? Prism. 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 As opposed to Prisma colored pencils, great for your art and illustrating skills. Are those the really expensive? Pr- yeah, those are the pencils. really yeah. freaking expensive ones. Why I are they so said. expensive? Uh, nice. Yeah, they're. I've used them before, opposed to just like mm-hmm. normal Crayola. colored pencils, like yeah, like Crayola, <laughs> Rose Art, or whatever. Uh-huh. And they're it's a lot different. Like oh. they're smooth to use. Yeah, like you can of- get like one colored pencil, but have it different, like hardness like they go on a scale of h's and b's there's all kinds of things yeah oh okay yeah so we could do so we could can can we get a sponsorship like if you want i'd want that i would just get charcoal and just like draw all the time charcoal's fun to play with draw with really shake with it's messy yeah but but if they sponsored us i'd have a billion of those awesome white erasers yeah what shut up okay Okay. Let's not go for a. Let's not go for an arts and crafts supplies. You don't want an art supply sponsorship. What would be the problem? 
Sponsored by Michaels. We're going to start making baskets. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> baskets, we got models and shit, like toy oh, models. I'd get, my, I'd get my ass on some models. Make birdhouses. That no, not those kinds of models, like, you know, like a 1948 Ford Coupe. Okay. You just build it. You got those little paints, the little little things of That's like a uh, weird year you gave out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> if I get, if I chose any year, it would be bad. Let me see. Well, who would build like a 1993 Ford Focus model? Like, hey, hey. Yeah, you picked a weird year. 1942. You're still in the throes of World War II. So it was a. I don't know. I I thought it was a, a good reference. Anyway. There we go. Michael's Arts and Crafts. Sponsor. Michael's Arts and Crafts. And Hobby Lobby. First half of the show, Michael's. Hobby Lobby. Second half, Lobby. Hobby Lobby. I've never been there. I've never been, but I've heard so much good stuff about Hobby Lobby. It's, it's Michael's. It's, it's Michael's called Hobby yeah, Lobby. That's all it is. Anyway. That's all I used to do is make models. I made models as well. I made an F-14 Tomcat with my dad once. I want to make a cool. battleship. I made the cars. You made the you know, battleship. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. My car would take on your battleship. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I have been uploading. Let's see. What oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, I've, had, uh, I've had a lot of stuff playing Grand Theft Auto 4 with Burns because Chiz was MIA the day we played. I don't want to hear it, really. Where were you? I was sleeping. I hit you up so many times. So many times sleep. you yell at me like, Dude, you gotta let me know when you guys play. I don't want to hear it because we had this plan out before, and Burns was the one who's like, "Oh, if Lefty wakes up or whatever, we'll do it." I was up at six a.m. Pacific time. Then Lefty got up like two hours later, and he's like, "Let's go!" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then Burns gets up like fucking five hours later. <laughs> so when it came to tomorrow or the next day, I was like, "He'll probably sleep in again." So then mm -hmm. I slept in, and I missed it. I don't want to hear it. I missed one time. Well, you guys left me in the Why dust when I was recording it? PKA. How is that our fault? That's PKA. No, but we were supposed to start later in the afternoon, and we started recording PKA at like 10 in the morning, and then all of a sudden I just see Burns. You guys start Once streaming. Again, this falls under Burns. He hit me up at like 10 in the morning. And he's like, you want to play GTA 4? I'm like, what about Lefty? He's doing PKA. He's like, oh, he said he'll join us one word when he's done. And I'm like, maybe he must be done soon that. And then like five hours later. You show up and you can't join you guys some dicks. mods. You guys, are, you guys are dicks. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't join because I had mods. But we got it all figured out. And uh, playing some Grand Theft Auto as well as uh, maybe some Battlefield. Had some Battlefield 3 content. I am completely out of content again. I need to make more. Yeah, I know. Except this show. The show is content for the day. But tomorrow, I have none. So I need to, uh, need to get on that. Yeah. Well, huh. What else have you been uploading? Um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, uh, Surgeon Simulator. I'm copying the shit out of people. Ah! <laughs> I suggested the idea to Lefty. It wouldn't have worked with us for obvious reasons, but then he went ahead and did it with Kitty. And I commend you, good sir, because I think it was a brilliant idea, and they're some of my favorite videos to watch. They're hilarious. Not because they you are, are inebriated. <laughs> no, they are. they are hilarious to watch. So um, check them out, Surgeon Simulator. Well, it wouldn't work with us because you can't play multiplayer. We'd have to be in the same room to play together. I told you a way to do it, and you're like, that would be awful. I said, well, play through Team Viewer. What the <laughs> hell is Team Viewer? It's where it's one person like controls desktop. the computer. Yeah. Oh. It's like screw that. Oh. No, not happening. Yeah. No, but anyway, so yeah, we've got um, Surgeon Simulator. By the content. way, that's the only reason he flew her out there. By the way. Was to get yeah. that video series done. Well, and the horses. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we did that. It was a lot of fun. So, Surgeon Simulator 2013. We only recorded two videos. That was the shitty part. That was it? Yeah. I wanted more. I know. I know. It was my fault. You didn't was, even get to the kidneys. I know. It was totally my fault. We were lazy about or I was lazy about it. Um, but we recorded those two videos and then just, you know, with other things. I was like, let's just go do this. And it's like, okay. And then all of a sudden the day's over. Pretty much. Okay. He's like, I have to go back to the barn. And I'm like, okay. I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> so I just, you know, I had to put the, oh my God, put the, <clears throat> the bit. She had the bit. Stop it. Oh, 
lead her around. He's so. awkwardly stare at her until she freaks out. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, we only had two. But there's a, I don't know. People people like content with Katie, so there's gonna be more uh, eventually, some point. And then uh, there's other stuff we can do, live recorded stuff. But uh, Katie won't be actually playing playing. It'll just be uh, her and I talking. That actually made me sad. Really? It was okay. The two videos were, were good. good. I'm, I'm, I know. Thank you, and I'm proud of the two videos. But um, yeah, it's my fault. Damn it! I didn't even get to the kidneys. I give up. Well, <laughs> we did the heart thing. I thought that was a logical closure point. The first one was 17 minutes of us trying to get this damn dude's heart out, and then the next one was seven minutes, and we did it badly. I've learned to use a hammer like you guys in real life. I take it and go like this and flip my Just, wrist uh, 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 <laughs> on the backwards end too. Uh, that that was all, Katie. I was just the fingers. I had. That was all me. I was all it's about a while grabbing to stuff. The nails out, but mm -hmm. it gets the job done after about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's you just stabbing the patient. Yeah, the I like how you started to make his face Ooh. fucking bleed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was a mutual decision. Well, I didn't know what the purple stuff did. It was like I didn't purple know. and blue. Yeah, it was purple. Well, no, it was green and purple. No. No, the blue one was like pinkish purple at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that ma apparently that makes him bleed. Who the yeah, who in the hell that. would ever want that? Well, because if you stab yourself with the green one, you trip acid. And if you stab yourself with the blue one, it stops that. Oh, it's... That's why it's there. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. Have fun trying to find that fucking thing when your entire screen is green and you're tripping balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll we'll record some of that. Like and favorite all my videos. I can fly Katie out here again, and we can we can and be sure then, to share the podcast with a friend. Yes, if you're friends with like Joe Rogan or like <laughs> Justin Bieber or um, Amanda Bynes. Fuck, get Amanda Bynes talking shit about this show. Who cares, right? Please don't. Please, please what, what, don't. What, why? Why not? Are you, are, you, are you really scared of Amanda Bynes? No, I'm not scared of her. I'm scared of what she represents, which is full-blown, psychotic, <laughs> alcoholic, drug-abusing. Had her time in the sunlight when she was 13, and now she's gone batshit banana crazy. Lindsay Lohan couldn't hold a candle to her right now. Yeah, at least Lindsay Lohan this has, This is like her time to get back into being sober, Mean Girls, Mean Girls 2. You know, mm -hmm. this is her chance. Like, hey, well, Lindsay Lohan has there. some kind of control. She just likes to party. She's not going on crazy Twitter rants, claiming that Chris, she screwed Chris Brown, or, or the most recent one. I think she claims she screwed some rapper on the set of the Amanda Bynes show or something. She was like fifteen during that, or whatever show. it was, wherever, whenever, whatever show she had on. The chick is just crazy, but whatever. If you get friends with her, um, I don't know who else. Who else has got a lot of followers on Twitter? Pendulet. Pendulet. Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla, if you want to get, get them on this show or to talk about it, hey, check out this show. You should totally do that. Yeah. Share it with all of your very, very famous friends. He is a pirate ship. We have a dinghy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So share it with all your famous friends. Your less famous, less famous friends? Eh. Sure. I mean, if you think they'd like a giggle and talk about horses and, I don't know, whore pool parties. Or pool parties. Maybe the show is for them. <laughs> Maybe the show. Hey, hey, Chuck. You know, last week I heard you talking about what it would be like if you invited Horace to a pool party. Well, if I got a podcast for you <laughs> every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time or Central this Daily. This is what you have to do. You have to run up and essentially rape someone's ears by throwing headphones on them and then play a, uh, play a That's Not Why You Called. <laughs> in their ears and then film yourself doing it like a punk episode mm -hmm. and then tweet it to us yeah i want to see you funny. rape people it'll be our new marketing like ear raping yeah ear raping like our show is like the penis that is raping the ears of america exactly and then like once that. they you know it, like and lot. it's like a rape gone good you know you can't abort that what you've just heard <laughs> you know You're well yeah you can it. yeah you can no, because they're going to go home and they're going to look it up. Well, they, go, oh, you know, you can, a thirty-eight caliber Parabellum lead prescription from 
Dr. No, no, no. Gun. This person is going to be turned towards it. So they're like wearing short dresses <laughs> while listening to it. They're asking really? for it at that Damn point. Really? I just this community, you you just said that. Ah. Uh, the rape gone good. What do you want? She was asking for it. A, no. Yeah, I don't want to uh, you go. know how badly people are looking to get angry about things. Never mind that we were completely joking, and we, oh, it was no. clear we were joking. People are just going to be like, nah, 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 you said rape. We're angry. I'm a little upset that you didn't get my Carlin reference. I, I wasn't even paying attention. What do you want? She was asking for it. She had on a tight bathrobe. <laughs> oh. Cock teasers. <laughs> And they also Katie, made a way with third is supposed to be black. Is it? Yeah, Katie, where are you? Fucking producer? What the hell? Is it? I don't Oh, whoops. My bad. I was, you I came was away with this with a very nice watch that you don't even use. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's why what I gave you the watch you because I wanted you to keep us on time on the damn show. Oh, no more excuses. It doesn't have numbers on it. What? How did it's top and bottom of the hour. If the line right, is, yeah, you don't need numbers it, for that. If it's perpendicular with the face of the watch, you know what time it is. Katie. It's what? not like I cut us off at 37 minutes exactly. Yeah, no, it's, well, the thing is down. Well, when, when 8.33 rolls around, we got to do that. We got to do that Michael's yeah. read, so be sure to keep us on time for that. It doesn't that. have numbers on it. You're it, it killing really me. Doesn't. You're. It I know does. it doesn't. I know because I This is our future. What uh, happens when all of the digital watches are gone and we have to go back to analog? Humanity will fucking oh, end like that. Analog. You 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 just said you can't. You just said you, no, can't. No. you could not. No. All right. No, anyway, on it. the other side of a break, we're going to talk about some real things. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, you're listening. Oh, that's not why you called. We are the penis raping the ears of America. That is our new. We need to get in touch with the graphics guy. I want, like, in cursive on the bottom right-hand corner, the penis raping the ears of America. You've got That's Not Why You Called. We will be right back. You were asking for it.
why. That's not why you called. Thursday, 7 p.m. Central. That's not why you called. Welcome back. That's not why you called. We are uh, <laughs> going into the top of the hour. Are you going to stay with us, Chiz? Are you going to... I thought I was in the right window and I hit F5. <laughs> well, because my comments aren't refreshing automatically for some reason. Oh, okay. Mine aren't either. Yeah. I'm oh, they're not? Realist. Maybe there's yeah. just nobody here talking about the show. Well, no, yeah. They refresh and then they're there. Oh. Like, I was like, why are the likes so low? And then I refresh. I'm like, oh, they're not. It's not refreshing. Huh. I don't That's yeah, I've been having you do it the whole time. Oh, okay. Never mind. Even on just YouTube itself, the comments. Because like, li- like literally mm. forty seconds before he came back from that break, Chiz just, just brrr, left. <laughs> yeah, no, I was it was, like, it was why did my screen seconds, not refresh? Actually. And I was just like, yeah. what? Uh, what happened? And then he came. I was back. like, my so. screen didn't refresh. And I looked in the corner of my eye, and I'm like, oh, I hope I get back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back in time. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Anyway, we thank everybody that likes the video. We appreciate it uh, very much. Likes the stream or likes the video on demand, depending on when you were watching. Uh, but anyway, coming out of the uh, the last segment, got a lot to talk about this week. Traditionally, we don't want to be just a gaming podcast. We don't want to talk about only video game topics. Uh, but sometimes that does happen because... Have you heard the first half hour of this show, Lefty? No video games. There was a lot of whores, horses. <laughs> and pools, and and pool parties. Pools and shooting at airports. Which, by the way, we just said a key word. We're going to be... A, oh, we were part of, of prison. Back history we are part of... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, but it's okay because you get to tell Microsoft what information you want sent or not sent out about you because we all know Microsoft isn't going face. to Microsoft isn't going to give any of your data unbeknownst to you to any government agency like the NSA or the CIA. <laughs> I our- totally did it. Oh my god, it's so much it's so funny to hear those morons like, dude, Microsoft already said that you get to decide what information gets sent out about you. I can't believe people actually believe that. Like, like just because well, somebody says something uh, doesn't mean it means anything. Exactly. But it, okay, okay. Before that, before this, I could, I could understand. I could see. I don't agree with it, but I could see the argument of that's eh, a little tinfoil hat ish. Okay, okay, I can see that. I mean, I, I still think that we should have the we should decide whether the information is recorded in the first place, and I think it's irresponsible for Microsoft to default to we're recording your information, and you just better hope that we don't send it out accidentally. But okay, 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 okay. But after Prism, after that, with with that in the forefront of your mind, <coughs> how can you honestly say, dude, Microsoft said they won't send out information about you if you don't want it sent out? Uh. Man, it's the future, man. Uh, blow me. We'll Idiots. just get to it. We'll get to right. We'll get to we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get, to, get that. to Prism. I, I want to say something think about though. This. Since I don't know if that part got on the air, but YouTube is being really weird right now. So if you guys do want us to be interacting with you constantly, even though Katie is beating the shit out of her at five right now. Um, much, yeah. <laughs> hit the, uh, tweet us with pound sign T N W Y C because me and Lefty can see that in a very leisurely manner. We don't have to hit refresh every two seconds. Why am I giggling so much? I don't beating know. Beating the shit out of her. She's F5. beating the shit out of her. F five. Motherfucking son of a. I don't do it anymore. I tried to do it. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped because that shit, you know, they'll call the cops on you. For and that. Uh, only save your con is already on it with the link dump. For is that this. the is that the is that yeah. the Reddit guy? We haven't mentioned the Reddit. Yeah. You should subreddit. Go to the uh, go to the that's not what you call it. Subreddit. Reddit.com forward slash r forward slash t n w y c. Go over there, talk, hit subscribe, do all that cool shit. And I have a thread on there to submit your favorites. And I this is important, guys. Now I showed. Lefty earlier today and Katie a minute ago, a, a teaser for the reasoning why I need your favorite audio clips of pe- previous shows, and I think the horse one may have to make it into that list. No. <laughs> no. So please link your favorite episode in the timestamp in that subreddit post. All right, go there now. We Don't can also it use it for sound clips. If Katie ever decides to actually start being a producer, we could actually yeah. use it for sound clips. We have boards. Yeah, we got Chiz and I both have boards now. Katie, yeah. even though she's our producer, doesn't. Want to know why? Bad producer. She's got an analog watch and doesn't know what time it is. Yeah. 
Scootsy. What time is it? Scootsy. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, uh, what is a scoozy from again? Scoozy? It's, it's Italian for... I know, but uh, there's a movie where they say it a lot. I think it might be a Jim Carrey movie. Oh, is it? Could be totally wrong. Link Dump Fellow. Find the reference I'm thinking about. <laughs> Just on that alone. Yeah, no. Link Dump Guy. Go! Do the He's Google. He's like good. an intern. Yeah. No, the subreddit, like, I don't know how to Reddit. I don't know, like, I just go and look at cute pictures of puppies. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but, um, so I don't know how to Reddit. But I visit the uh, reddit.com slash r slash uh, TNWYC. That's that's what it is, reddit.com slash r slash TNWYC. I, vi- I visit that subreddit, and after every show, if you're watching this, I'm gonna. I am going to add it. I don't know if it is right now, but I am going to after this show. I'm gonna add it to the metadata. What is it? Somebody got it. It's from Euro Trip. Oh, okay. God, I've seen the movie like five thousand times. Um, it's uh, uh oh, jeez. I'm gonna add it to the metadata of the show so that f- uh, every single week you can go to the to the uh. TNWIC Reddit subreddit, and there's a link dump there for everything we talk about, and, and usually a breakdown of, of what we talk about. This guy's really good. He's on the ball. I don't I know see why. I'm editing something right now. I'm is he? Sure it is, was that. is he gonna like? Does he? He doesn't expect payment, does he? Because I I have no money. We'll give him hugs. I'll give him like e hugs. hugs. I'll give oh, him e bones. Bones. That's all you get. But <laughs> e bones. Oh yeah, my god. Just e bones. What? It just sounds weird. That's all. <laughs> Um, Scoozy. Scoozy. But, uh, no, and then also the uh, the sound clips we could use for boards, for our boards. And make the, that is the goal. Make the show funnier. And, yeah. Okay. Katie, how many times has said, I'll work the boards, I'll play sound clips. I don't think I've ever said that. Before every show, you add Hangout Toolbox, yet you never play a sound clip. <laughs> nope. They're really lame sounds. What are you talking about? There were a couple good ones for rim shots in there. Yes. And ri- never mind. Whoa. <laughs> Don't go there, please. All right, Katie, yeah, sound clip that. of the day. Choose one, play it now. We're going to wait. We're going to put the show on hold. No. No. We're doing it. Pick sound a sound clip, clip and day. play Pick it. Pick a drop. Pick a drop. Pick it. Mm. J- j- drop the bass. I don't remember exactly which ones sound like what. You got to pick one. It's on name only. Go, go, go. No. Hold you got to pick one. This is, this is, come on. You got to break the mold. Let's go. <laughs> I just clicked. How ironic. Just, <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> that is, that is very, very, yes, perfect contextual work. See, Katie, that would be perfect. That's what a producer could do. We've talked about this while we were here. We talked about the producer speaking through sound clips, and that's kind yes. of what, if you're timid about getting Are on the mic. Talked? Yeah, we talked about the show. Believe it or not, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, then. It's crazy, right? He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny when she freaks out about that. Anyway, E3 is this way. Anyway, let, blah, that's not why you called. We uh, we try not to make this um, always a uh, uh, a gaming show, but um, but that is a lot of our four That was the goal. If you will, that was the goal. But we just spent the first forty-five damn minutes of the show talking about nothing, re- scoozy, 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 related to gaming. But now we will. E three is this week, and um, there's some good, some bad, some just kind of meh. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it. Just how do you do? You want to save the good stuff for the end? Because a lot of people talk about you know focusing you always negative, negative, negative. But I saw some really cool things at E three that I want to talk you about. Did. I don't think you did. Oh, I let's did. just go with the All right, let's, let's go, go with, with the bad first and we'll save the good. It's going to be a tease. We call that really? a tease in the biz. All yeah, right, well, cuz if people right. if people because people complain about hearing the negative all the time, they want to hear the good. So if I promise them positive sounding things later on in the show, they're going to listen for a longer period of time, allowing us to sell more ad space. Hey, Asus. Peanut butter <laughs> nibblies. My old trip. Hobby lobby. James Cameron. James Cameron can please let us get sponsored by James Cameron. Sean Connery. We could do the show in 3D <laughs> for some reason. 3D. I don't who, else, who wants to see my ass in 3D? Nobody. Except Katie, maybe. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, just you, you literally just want to see my ass. You don't want to see, yeah. 
Like you want, like I want to see them buns. I mean, if you're attached to it, I'll do. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. But uh, it was separate. <sighs> so anyway, good stuff coming up later. But um, their E3 Wait. was. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's how yes, we're doing Good it. stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. Yeah. The bad stuff. I'm right. taking the bad first since you're going to go Please. on a high raid for Please. about 45 minutes here. <laughs> okay. I will. Yes, you're probably right. And so please let's tell hit us. all the conferences. You're going to hit them all. You watch okay. more of the conferences than I, I did. did. Like, I watched the big keynotes. I didn't watch the yeah. the, the little conference. I was, I was too busy doing well, other things. All right. Question, so I'll get the ones people don't care about out of the way that much. EA. I actually didn't watch Ubisoft. I watched EA and it was okay. I mean, I, now you want to talk about was, Battlefield 4, so this is a perfect time yes, to do it. Yes, that was showed. Um, Battlefield 4, and I'm probably getting flack for this. I don't really care. It looks so fun. I mean, people bitch about COD being the same thing every year, but they change up the scenery, the maps, the guns, the perk system, all that. They try. The Battlefield 4, it was putting me to sleep. It Whoa. was so boring. It looked the same. It, mm. And they're like, it's in 60 FPS now. And it's like... Well, that was to sell console. On that, well, well, hold on. That was to sell console gamers. Yeah, that was that was the the design of it. Because but the thing is, you can't really fucking in a presentation format like that. I can't tell if I'm looking at thirty or sixty. It's how the game feels when you're playing it. Yeah, that's true. That's and those true. also probably. I mean, and another thing for the EA one, that's where they showed off their 64, 64 man console based multiplayer. Why did you? One, it was on PC. Well, so, yeah, everything shown on PC is on, know, or everything at E3 is on the, PC. That doesn't really sell the 64-man multiplayer on console now if you're demonstrating it on a PC. You know what I mean? And then there were people, there are lines like, did you feel that rumble? Want to know why that guy said it? Because he's playing with a fucking controller. And the other people aren't. Mm -hmm. it, it's just so bad. And and then people were like, it's so innovative. I told you this earlier. It's so innovative. They made a skyscraper fall. And I'm like... Yes, like in every other campaign or co-op thing in every other game, it was scripted. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that don't know, out. in the uh, in the multiplayer reveal, because that was the big thing out of EA's... Uh, and they were showing off their new commander mode, which was another thing that utilized, I think it was smart glass. Well, well, the commander mode was in Battlefield 2. In Battlefield 2 on 64-man plus servers, you had... Uh, a commander that would control artillery squads mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And that was done away with in Battlefield 3, and a lot of PC gamers are kind of upset about it. But now uh, it's coming back in Battlefield 4. But for those that don't know, getting back to just your point, um, there was a... I thought it was cool. Like, I didn't... I was interested. I'm, I'm not going to say what was innovative and what wasn't, but I was interested in the the size of the maps. Because when you play Battlefield maps... A lot of them are really large, like uh, mm -hmm. ten times sometimes what you would see in a in a Call of Duty map. But this, but they're really they're really flat. They're they're more they're they're just kind of planes mm -hmm. like this. But this map that was shown off in the multiplayer reveal seemed very large, but also very vertical because people were like fighting in a skyscraper and then they they um, they jumped down from the skyscraper onto the streets and we're shooting and stuff there and there were tanks and then and then the tank shot at a building and uh and the skyscraper fell um so we don't know if that's if that was dice trying to show off um the frostbite three engines destructive capabilities because for a while dice's claim to fame with battlefield was everything is destructible um but you know that has gone away so we'll see i don't i don't know i see that's the question that's the age-old question though at what point at what point are you with a game or with any product really in a series? When should you or do you abandon what worked or what what was well done? Like, what's that line in between keeping what worked and then just kind of um, just just profiting off of old ideas that you haven't improved on? Because there's something to be said for taking what worked from a game in a series and bringing it along for the next series or the, the the next title that doesn't mean that you're not innovating but it also doesn't mean that you're you don't i don't know that you're rewriting the rewriting the the book on on game design so i think I, because you know i played batman arkham asylum and we'll get to that later when we talk about the good stuff and i realized because it, it it had been a while or i had never played arkham asylum before arkham city and i realized i'm like wow arkham city is so much like arkham asylum but it was like it was it was like Arkham Asylum in a good way 
because the things that I liked about Arkham Asylum got carried over into Arkham City and then got added on to. Some of it worked. Some of it was just kind of meh for me, but I liked... Uh, I, I think they struck a good balance. So I, I think the key is there's nothing wrong against strict, strictly carrying things over that worked from a series, like carrying over the uh, attachment system or the, the kind of attachments or whatever, whatever you think worked really well. Carrying that over isn't necessarily bad. It's when that's all you do, um, like some could argue for Call of Duty, that that's all they do is they just kind of repackage the same things. So I think there's something... Like maybe it wasn't new enough for you, but I just it didn't really grab me. Like I mean, okay. I don't know. It just didn't. It, it was like yeah, that's that's Battlefield. You know, I would have been more. I mean, we knew about Battlefield Four coming for a while now. Mm-hmm. It's not like it was new, but I would have preferred to see Bad Company Three over Battlefield Four. To be honest with <clears> you. I know a lot of people would. A lot of people love Bad Company. But so EA was that. Uh, they showed off something cool too, but that's really good section. And you know, sports, typical new sports. They had fucking basketball players come on. I want to make an interesting point. Mm-hmm. I for, I don't know if I told. I said this. Oh, I was in Gom stream when I said it. They showed off their new UFC game, and Dana White was on stage with uh, two fighters. I forget who, mm-hmm. uh, which is sad because they're pretty big. And he <laughs> Dana White was going batshit nuts like. Yeah, and, and when he's closing out, he's like, yeah, this game is amazing. Whether you dribble a ball, you throw it through a hoop, whatever, everybody loves fighting or whatever. And then when he was leaving, he's like, nobody does it better than these guys here. And he's pointing at, like, the chairman of EA or whatever. Uh-huh. And it's so funny because, I mean, I'm sure not a lot of people know, but not too long ago, maybe three years ago, four years ago, something like that, the UFC, I don't think, I know, it was UFC-related, had their own game, and it was like UFC disputed or something like that and then EA came out with EA UFC or whatever Mm -hmm. and Dana White had his and he was at he would actually not sign people to the UFC to fight if he found out they went and showed up in EA's version of a UFC game (laughs) Uh and now we're down the road here he's like I've been so excited for this partnership I'm waiting for it a long time nobody does it Uh better than these guys here I'm like you kind of fucked people in their careers because they well, it's funny how with how a big ass check in the bank can change a whole lot of things. Huh? Yeah, no shit, right? And when uh, EA comes a call in, they get the dough. Mm-hmm. Well, because because well, think about Respawn Entertainment. We talk, we can talk this possibly That's about for the good. That could be for the good, but this is for the cynical bastard part. Um, talk about EA when they when they left when those guys left. Uh, Infinity Ward, I'm talking about Respawn Enter- what is now Respawn Entertainment used to be part of Infinity Ward. When they left in the in the the smoldering dust that was Modern Warfare 2, their whole thing was we wanted to be artists, we had a vision for this game, and we wanted to do it, and blah, 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 and we wanted all this. And Activision wouldn't allow it. They forced us down this road. They forced deadlines upon us all of a sudden. Activision, bad, 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 bad. But then they form Respawn Entertainment, and Respawn Entertainment works with EA, which is pretty much Activision, but it's called EA. And it's just, we're artists, we're all about artistry, and we want to be artists about our game. Oh, EA, you got a huge fucking check? Cool. Thank you. Yeah, but I mean, Uh I think think they're not going to put constraints on them, though. EA won't, because they're like, hey, these guys made the number one entertainment franchise in the world mm-hmm. we're gonna just listen to them you can do what we want we'll we'll give you some money and whatnot you just sell big copies and everybody's excited for your game what you're making so i don't think that i think going into a partnership with ea they knew you know they held the cards in their hand here mm-hmm. and there's a, and there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with making a lot of money at what you do nothing at all wrong with it i mean if you if you're really good at what you do and you sell your wares or, or your services to the highest bidder and you make a lot of money making video games, fine, good for you. But my problem comes from when, you know, you're trying to tell me, oh, I'm just an artist. I just want my vision for the game and blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Don't just, uh, that's, that's one thing I hate is just don't try to bullshit me. You, it's a, the money changed your mind. Don't try to tell me that your artistic vision aligned with this or this person. You got a big ass check in the bank. You bought a brand new car. You paid off your house. Your kids' college education funds are filled up. It was the money that did it. Don't try to tell me you're an artiste anymore. Kiss my ass. Cynical bastard. 
That's going to be my segment on the show. Thank, thank you, thank you, Lefty. I'm just so, a bastard. I didn't see the Ubisoft one, but I heard mm-hmm. nothing but good, and then I went back to watch some videos. Xbox bad. Oh, um, no, I'm gonna so go with PlayStation bad first because there's a lot to talk about on the Xbox one. All right, there's a PlayStation bad. bad. All right, enlighten us. I'm trying. No, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, oh, oh! I thought you were like, hold on, it's like I got a list of shit well, just things that PlayStation did. Uh-huh. All right, we'll save PlayStation later because I got to think of so the Nintendo. Did you catch anything from the Nintendo thing? Wait, what? Why were they at E3? They have a console out. No, but I mean they showed up. They did, oh. and they didn't. Usually they have a conference with them every year. They still have their conference, and it's a big thing. What? I'm gonna shoot you, whatever. I don't know his fucking name. The dude from head of Nintendo walks out. Usually they didn't do a conference this year. They did Nintendo Direct, and. It was a stream, and it was like one long giant commercial because it was all pre-recorded. It wasn't like a conference. Oh, really? It was one dude the whole time. They didn't bring anyone else to talk about the game. This dude just stood there and went, this is our game. And it was an Asian dude, so it was hard. Sorry if that sounds racist, but it's just what it is. That's a bad thing about Sony. We can talk about that. Katie's got some input on that one. They're they're horrible. (laughs) And he'd come on and be like, here's our new game. And it's like, there's a new Zelda, there's a new this, there's, there's a new, new Zelda, there's a new Mario. Then they showed a new IP, which I've never seen before. It looked like it looked like shit, but it was a new IP, so I gave them props. And then and it was like I think the whole entire thing lasted like 30 minutes. I was like, "Good on you for getting your shit out of the way real quick, not dragging it out for 90." Minutes. Well, it's a title. They're and, at the point, I think they're at the point where they're just like, "Yeah, we know nobody cares. We're okay." Yeah, and they brought it out at the end to close it off with Super Smash Brothers, which apparently that entire 34 minutes didn't matter before and Twitter lost its fucking Oh yeah, mind. everybody everybody goes crazy for Super Smash Brothers. And I would too. And, and Super Smash and Brothers is fun. Here's the thing. I think I'm getting this right. Super Smash Brothers they said was going to come out, yeah, it was going to come out on the Wii U and on the Nintendo 3DS. And I was like, why would you do that? Because you're in a dying hardware market, why would you not make it only for the Wii U so you force that diehard fan base and even people that only like Super Smash Brothers to have to buy your Wii U and to get the game as opposed to pretty much a good majority of people have a 3DS just lying around. They can go, oh, Super Smash Brothers, I'll pick it up. That just seems so Well, maybe maybe they don't have me. enough maybe they don't have enough confidence in their in Super Smash Brothers to carry a give it three years. Hardware. I'm calling it now. They will be. They will have gone away with Sega and will license all their games. Three years. Well, yeah, oh, of course. But I mean, I just think from a business perspective, now they don't. Want but to- here's the thing. Now I'm going to say the same thing for what Xbox did at the very beginning of their conference. They're mm-hmm. like, we're supporting Xbox 360 still. It's going to be great. Check out the new slick Xbox 360. And I was like, you're trying to market and sell us right now a brand new console. <laughs> That we're gonna find out later is at five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You're telling us, well, it's only six months away. You could spend three hundred right now on a brand new three hundred and sixty, which will die in a year. Which you're gonna need that three hundred and sixty because according to the president of Microsoft, if you don't have an internet connection, yeah, Don okay. Matrick is that what is it? Don Matrick, yeah, yeah, Don Matrick or Don Matrick or whatever. We got you covered. We have an offline console. It's called the three hundred and sixty. It's you called the fuck you now. in the butt, consumer. Ha 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 ha! Get on the you know internet because we're Microsoft. You know kiss our asses. Did you see that? Did you see that? Clip? I, the, the interview. Yeah. Yeah, that was recorded even before Microsoft did their conference and before the Sony one. So that's an attitude before everything. You can imagine how it feels when Sony went, hey, none of this matters. Exactly. That was he shot himself in the foot. That was great. And I think that'll give us a great point. We'll come back. We'll talk about the Microsoft uh, E3 Bad. conference. Break it down. Break down the Xbox One and then, uh, and then jump into some good things that we saw. Sony just whipping out their wangs and just slapping old... Bill Gates and his <laughs> slapping them all in the face with the their just gigantic junk uh, concerning the PS4. But anyway, that's not why you called.
That's not why you called. Thursday, 7 p.m. Central. That's not why you called. Welcome back. That's not why you called. We are in the last half of the show. We are halfway through. And we are back. I am your host. Lefty, you can follow me on Twitter at Lefty643. My co-host over there at Dr. Chiz and our lovely producer, Katie. We thank you all for sticking with us through the first hour of the show. Got still a lot to talk about. Um, talk, we left off here talking about the bad of E3. The good stuff is coming. We get to be positive and happy because they're not giant corporations trying to fuck you in the butt out of your money. <laughs> anyway. But they are. They totally are. They want that was really scary, by the way. What? The laughing. Who's a little... Yeah. Oh, I was it? you doing like a payday, the ice mask on when you were doing that. <laughs> <laughs> really creepy. It made my face hurt. Um, smiling sucks. I'd rather frown. Um, anyway. Anyway, talking about some bad stuff. Now, can we, we want to talk about Microsoft and the Microsoft E3 keynote presentation. A lot of you watched it. A lot of you um, were privy to my thoughts and my, the thoughts of Dr. Chiz on Twitter. What did you think of the, the Microsoft E3 keynote address? Because they said they were going to give you games, and they gave yeah, you games. And they gave you games. And I thought, just looking at it objectively at that time, no mm -hmm. other conference went on. I think the conference was fine, but they didn't, they didn't touch on the DRM and the always online issue, which I thought they would have. There was so much talk about it, so much controversy. Mm -hmm. The only talk about it that there was was that thing that you saw that happened before the conference, and that was kind of a douchey, rude remark. Right. In the in the a very small demographic of people even saw that. They didn't put it on their main stage, which everyone mm -hmm. was watching at home on TV or on stream. So they left that out. They showed games, yes, and I thought the games were um, good, but when I looked at and when I figured out which ones were also on PC, the only exclusive there there that I cared about was Dead Rising 3 and Halo 5, whatever the name of it is, Halo. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else is on PC or okay. on, also on PlayStation 4. So they didn't really... They didn't really get me because I didn't think they showed a lot of exclusives that were just for the one. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was fine. They started off with Metal Gear Solid 5, so I was happy. <laughs> it was so cool, mm -hmm. and it looked gorgeous, and I think that's all I've got to say. Okay, but you see, because now I include their little press release, because this was this is standard damage control. Microsoft realizes that they've got a problem. I think um, there might have been a lot of hubris involved with... Uh, generating the system, the, the Xbox One in the first place, and the always-on DRM. And I'll get to always-on, because I know somebody in the smartest in the comments, Lefty, it's only once every 24 hours. Do you get a 24-hour cycle off ever? No? Then it's always online. Doesn't matter that it's once every 24 hours. You do not get a 24-hour cycle off. You have to always be on. But anyway, what? You, you have a question? No, I'm saying boom. Oh. Boom. Goes Continue. Through. Dynamite? What are you saying, human? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, this is, this is PR. They realized they, there was probably an institutional synergism going on of, you know, we're Microsoft. We've dominated the last generation of consoles. What we say in this business goes. That, that, that's it. That's probably what it was. And we're going to introduce this new tech and we're going to win the living room, and what we say is going to go. We're going to have the ultimate gaming mach machine and the ultimate living room multimedia center, which is what they're trying to do. Uh, and that results in the, all, the DRM. That's the used game skullduggery. That's all this stuff. Um, the, the connect mandatory thing. The, the default to the connect always listening. The default to the connect always recording, and you have to actively opt out of the connect recording your information. Um, all that stuff. And then when they, after the original conference, the original, the Microsoft standalone keynote where they introduced, they were like, huh, 
we got a problem. And so they realize what's going on. And so the, in the week leading up to E3, there was a press release. Um, Xbox came out definitively about some of the things that a lot of people were harping them on about. Uh, the, the always online connection. You have to check in every 24 hours. That was confirmed. And the, uh, the used game thing was kind of confirmed about licenses. And you get to trade it. And then, you know, you can buy used games, but they have to be through licensed dealers and blah, 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 or participating retailers, right, which basically just means uh, Microsoft came in and said, look, we're going to screw your business unless you give us a cut of your money. And so that, that was what they did. I include that in the E3 because they were trying to get that out of the way so they didn't have to answer any questions about it at E3. And I say, no, 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 Microsoft. You're going to have to talk about that. So with those things included in their E3 keynote address, uh, Microsoft, that was probably one of the worst showings that I've seen of E3 once you include the whole thing, just the DRM of it in and of itself, just the hubris needed to 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 have that kind of arrogance. That that was like everybody made fun of Sony at in 2005 when whoever it was, I forget, said, well, if you can't afford the, the PS3, get a second job or something like that. Remember that? Everybody was like, yeah. oh, how could you say this is my this is Microsoft's turn now. And yeah. it, it was absolutely awful. And um, and I think they were. They've been dunderheaded and, and heavy-handed about this whole thing and not even willing to admit, well, we may have erred. We'll look into it. Nothing's definite yet. This has been a screw you. And just to your point, you made a video about it. Like yeah. Don uh, Matrick, I believe somebody corrected me on the, um, on the pronoun pronunciation. It's not Matrick. It's Matrick. Don Matrick came out before the E3 keynote address on Microsoft and basically said, if you don't have an Internet connection, fuck you. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, w and he said it in such a douchey way, though, and that's why uh, I forget the host of Game Trailers, but uh, he Jeff was like, K Jeff Cayley or whatever. Cayley? Kegley? Yeah. Cayley? He was just like, well, if you're worried about that or you don't have an internet connection, we've got a platform, a platform for offline, and that's Xbox 360. And he's like, so that's your answer? Xbox 360. So if you don't like mm -hmm. it, go to Xbox 360. And then he started backpedaling, like, well, well, you know, that is an offline device or whatever. It's like, really? That was so douchey. <laughs> And so this is, um, for me, that sealed it. I, I was, this this made it a thing about about principle because Microsoft showing throughout all this, I'm not, for the time being, unless those policy cha policies change, I'm not going to buy an Xbox One. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't care who plays it. I don't care who of my friends have it. I don't care. I am not going to support that because here's the thing. I, I'm I'm on Twitter a lot. You can follow me at Lefty Six Four Three, and a lot of people oh. get upset. <laughs> or a lot of people say, why are you talking about this? Just don't buy it. Here's the thing. This isn't just about checking in once in a while. This isn't just about Microsoft screwing people that don't have access to reliable broadband internet, even though that's a thing, because despite what you have in, in wherever you live, you're probably a middle to upper middle class neighborhood or above that, Despite what you have in terms of broadband internet, that's not the rest of the country, and that's certainly not the rest of the world. Yeah, and here's an argument I, I see a lot in the comments and videos and mine and stuff like, well, if you can afford the $500 console, you can afford the internet, can you not? And it's like, it's not a price matter, it's that just some areas in the country mm -hmm. can't just get internet. Like, it, And it's like, well, if you got the money, it's like, yeah, if I want to spend like, let's take Wings for example, if he wanted what you and I have, he'd have to pay like $2,000 for mm -hmm. the infrastructure and then $500 a month. It's just not reasonable. And then people overseas in submarines over in Afghanistan, they just can't get the internet. There's no such thing. I mean, the, the, and, and especially uh, talking about service members, I don't like going down that road, the service members road, because it seems like I'm being a douche. Yeah. Like, what are you against the troops? It's like, no, no. But that's... A lot of troops have those things, and a lot of those troops use them as um, as escapes. I had escapes. a guy say, why are they I, – I heard what – I had a guy in mind say it was either they shouldn't be playing Xbox or why do they need an Xbox or something like that. And I'm like – Because so there's people trying to PTSD, shoot them in the head. So that way they don't come home with PTSD and start shooting yes. the shit out of people here. Because they need to calm down after an entire day of killing people. Every day they walk outside, they might get shot or blown up. And they didn't choose to be there. They're the guys that get sent there. But, okay, you want to talk about corrupt this, corrupt that, whatever, fine. The, the corporal in the army 
doesn't get to choose. He goes or he gets shot or life imprisonment as a traitor. So he's got to go to a place where you can get shot or blown up every single day. And you know what? He wants to blow off a little steam like Israeli female soldiers and their... Hey, it's that or alcohol. What do you <laughs> right. want? Katie, Katie, you saw the video. What, do you, what are your thoughts on the Israeli female soldiers blowing off steam, dancing around in their undies, using a, using a rifle as a stripper pole, by the way? Good for them. Yeah. What are my thoughts? Yes. That they're whores. Wow. <laughs> I just wanted to get her to say that. Wow. And so can't it, all be horses. <laughs> but getting back on point, this isn't about... You know, we talk about uh, the DRM, that is the, the once, once every 24-hour cycle check-in thing. We'll, let's just talk about that just narrowly for a second. It's not about, it's not just about the ease of connectivity. It's not just about that. It's about what you really own as a consumer when you buy it. It's about what you really get to honestly choose to do with a product after you pay for it. If I want to buy Call of Duty just to play the single player campaign offline, I think I should be able to do that. And I don't think it's responsible of Microsoft, and I don't think it's responsible of people that will support Microsoft in this effort to blur that line in between what you really own and what you're just licensing. Because when I buy something on Steam, Steam is upfront about it. Steam says, look, you are just licensing this game. We can turn your shit off at will. And I've read through it. And I understand that. Okay, take my money. That's fine. I have had the chance to consider the terms of the deal, and I agree to them. When I go and buy an Xbox 360 title that's wrapped in, in uh, that has the, the security borders on it, that's wrapped in the cellophane paper or the, the plastic, and it's in a glass case behind whatever in GameStop, how am I going to be able to consider the terms of this deal? Because they say it. They say it in the, in the contracts. I think you know, it's uh, Batman Arkham City back there. But if you open up the manual, there is the licensing agreement that says you are licensing this as a licensed piece of software, blah, 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 blah. I have no chance to consider that. None at all until after I buy it. That's a null and void contract. I cannot be held to that. Once I buy a, a closed disc box... That box and the disc and the zeros and ones contained on it are mine to do with whatever I please. And I think it's, I think it's irresponsible of people to support that. What? I think I look silly. <laughs> Great. I'm trying to make this grandiose statement, and here's Chiz making stupid faces. Say like the mic is my nose. <laughs> Well, I thought you had made your point, so I was segueing. To to what? What does that what? segue? To Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph the black nosed reindeer. Wow! Racist. Your microphone is black. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> um, so Microsoft to me is just—I think it's irresponsible. And the, the whole Connect thing. Because yeah, say that for later. Save we'll it for later into, for the we'll Prism into, stuff. Yeah, we'll get into okay. Prism later. We'll get into Prism. PlayStation later. Four. Doing it good. I, I want right. to take personal credit for that. I take personal credit for Sony's press conference. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> because I don't think I don't slow. think they I, I they did come out so but I think they were I think they were following me on Twitter. And then they unfollowed me so I wouldn't find out. Oh, okay. And I think they or took my they words. You. May, right, maybe they blocked you. me so I so I wouldn't see that they were following me. But um, I think they, they took my words about coming out strong against, coming out completely against Microsoft and their draconian practices on DRM and stuff like that. And I think they did. I don't think they hired a professional. No. I don't think that they was, did anything. I think they followed me. That's all you. And I'm the only one that was saying it that I saw. So in my universe, I'm the only You're one that was to saying it. it. You're yeah. entitled to it. So that was all me. That was all me. Thank you. Force. You are welcome, video gaming world. For getting Sony to uh, to come out swinging at Microsoft, I think it would have been more interesting though if they matched them on everything. Then what would people say and do? What do you mean if they matched? Like if they said price point is five hundred dollars, we also have the DRM, and you always have to be online. 
I feel like that would have been more interesting because it's cut and dry if you have it how they have it now. It's like, well, fuck, of course I'm going to go with the $100 cheaper console that isn't constantly monitoring me, doesn't require me to be online, mm -hmm. and I can trade my games and whatnot. You see, they did. They 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 have been kind of shady. They they did try to slip that whole you have to pay for PS Plus yeah, thing to play multiplayer. That one in, they tried to like, do that. Eh. And, you know, say, so you're just a Sony fanboy. No, that wasn't cool of Sony either. You know, don't try to bullshit. A, well, a bullshitter, but in in general, just say you've already won. At that point, when yeah. Sony tried to slip the you have to pay for PlayStation Plus to play multiplayer, when when they were at that point in the speech, you had already won E3. You cannot lose it by saying, oh, but to subsidize this, you, you pay for PlayStation Plus to play multiplayer, but you get all this awesome stuff that we've already listed. So and I think, uh, what is it? If you get PlayStation Plus, you also get like Netflix streaming for free. Dude, I, I don't I've heard know. That I have several, from several sources. Well, and then, hell yeah, that pays for your, itself. And you still get your free game a month, which mm -hmm. Xbox started doing now with two games a month. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 2. What, what's or Fable Assassin's 3? Creed. No, that was. I don't know why that's there. That's just a glitch, I think. It's oh, okay. Assassin's Creed 2 and Halo 3. Oh, okay. So it's July 1st. Which, mm -hmm. hey, I was going to buy ha Halo 3 again. So now I don't have to. Now <laughs> I don't feel like that automatic charge that goes to my account all the time every month. It's worth something. Mm -hmm. I don't use that anymore. I would get a PlayStation Plus account. Yeah. The and games they give out are really good. Like, they gave out Sleeping Dogs not that long ago. Mm -hmm. They gave out uh, Infamous 2 the other day. I think they've been... They've been uh, it, so there there were some things at Sony. What else? Did they, uh, the third-party DRM thing. They were kind right. of hands-off about. Well, they, they Kotaku oh. was trying to get Sony to say... You are you going to disallow DRM of any kind, like uh -huh. um, EA's online pass system, which is just DRM and all that stuff? Are you going to disallow that? And Sony was trying to. What did you just? It was do? a nap. Okay. I thought he was just punching the air, just cause. Stupid air. <laughs> um, but they were they were kind of like aloof about that, and I think that was a little bit disingenuous because I thought again, all I had to do was come out and say, look. We think the market is such that uh, publishers will be universally chided for implementing online pass systems. So we're not going to overtly disallow them, but rather our, our DRM system is going to be exactly what it is now. And the third party guys can do, the third party publishers can do what they want, but we are confident that they will be um, dissuaded from doing so. But they've tried to they they've pussyfooted around that by saying, well, we aren't going to allow first party publishers and our and our third party DRM practices are going to be the same. Just say, you know, they can do whatever if they want to. We just don't think they will. Right. So there's bad to to come with Sony. It's not all ro no. you know roses. I'm going to say Guns and Roses. I don't know why. <laughs> it's all Guns and Roses. Paradise City. Mm-hmm. But um. So but, do you think this is their generation? For me, yes. For me, I'm buying Sony now. I'm back from PlayStation 2. I'm back, Sony. Ha -ha. Not that you give a shit because you're a multi-billion dollar corporation. But I was never that big in a PS2 anyway. PS2 was a shit, dude. That's what? Where it's at. I just had a PC. SOCOM 2? Oh, SOCOM 2 online was amazing. I had a PC. Hmm. Those older ones, the PS2 and Xbox One, well, Xbox Original. <laughs> I never, I I never, never <laughs> yeah. Just I say never Xbox number those. one. Numero uno, uno one. Yeah, I never played those Xbox. online because they were so annoying to set up. Like PS2, mm -hmm. you had to like do the account. You had to have the right piece of hardware. Oh yeah, you had to have the network adapter, etc. And and like things like the Metal Gear, like Metal Gear had online too, and those sucks because you needed a uh, Ko Konami, I think you needed a PS, you needed a PlayStation account and a Konami account. You had to log into both. And oh then really? Yeah, so, uh, and Xbox Live wasn't that great on the original Xbox. No, 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 it was, it was rather clunky as I recall. Yeah, but still, they didn't have achievements, so I really didn't give a fuck. <laughs> if you pre-order Xbox One, you do get a limited edition achievement, though. Ooh. Hey. My gamer hey, score that nobody that gives go? a fuck where about. Where does that go, by the way? It better be worth like 5,000 points. It, it not one of those Call of Duty World at War 10th Prestige ones where it's like, it's worth zero. <laughs> Here's five gamer points. Ah. And where does that go? Is it just one game? One out of one? I don't know. Xbox One? You turn one it on, one. you get it. You turn it on. What, you the first on. time you check in, it's a 
big giant middle finger that you get to use as your avatar. And how are they going to know? It's, is it like the GameStop <laughs> ones where it says it's a pre-order, but it's really not? Everybody has it? That oh, was yeah. the case. would be mad. Yeah. GameStop does the same thing. Oh, you know what else I found out? Speaking about Microsoft and their DRM issues. Um, there was a paste bin going around, apparently from a Microsoft engineer. Apparently. This is unconfirmed. That talks about how DRM is needed so that... To um, drive the price down. To drive the price down. Yeah. But, that makes sense. But what I found was that on Xbox Live, Microsoft is charging a whole lot more for digital games mm -hmm. than GameStop is charging for physical copies, new, brand mm -hmm. new, unopened, not used, of the same games. Yep. So that whole idea, if, if you ever get somebody trying to say, well, DRM, and I saw somebody ask, DRM is digital rights management. It's basically the... Um, the publisher or creator of something saying, yes, even though you bought this with software, I still, as the publisher, get to dictate when, where, and how you interact with that software, how you use it, when you use it, where you use it. And I can revoke those rights at any time. That's essentially DRM. Um, and so Microsoft, in completely digital media, despite having the DRM that would save them, is charging more for, for the same games than, uh, than GameStop is brand new. Yeah. So that whole thing of DRM drives prices down because we can... Blah, 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 bullshit. Yeah. It's bullshit. Microsoft's just a bunch of greedy bastards. Which is fine. You can be a greedy bastard. But don't try to tell me you're not being a greedy bastard. Because you are. Microsoft. Yeah. You douche. Yay, yay. Oh. Pow! Yes, that was his. What is that from? Step Brothers? Or what's that one? I think it's Step Brothers. Where the guy from The Daily Show. All right, yeah, good things. Those. Good things. Let's, let's focus on the good. Chiz, what did you really enjoy seeing from E3 besides your big black cock nose? Uh, where's my list at? Oh, okay. So games are like, I love Titanfall. And this is a funny thing. Everybody's like, Man, Call of Duty Thunder actually said this. Call of Duty Ghost, I don't care that I said his name. It's not drama. Uh, it was uh, Call of Duty Ghost um, comes out six months or comes out six months before Titanfall, and Titanfall is already showing multiplayer. Several people have said this, and I'm like, because Titanfall is a multiplayer only game. <laughs> it's oh really? Got single player like elements in it. Like if you saw the trailers and stuff, they had like. The camera is HUD, and they were talking to them in a certain way, like it was a story kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's a multiplayer-only game. So, of course, they got to show multiplayer. So what That's is Titanfall is. exactly? What kind of game? What am I looking at here? It is an FPS mech game. Is that on PC? It is on PC, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. It's going to be on and Xbox 360, too? Yeah. Hmm. And it's a Source Engine-based game. That was the and Source Engine? Yep. Wow. Yeah. I remember seeing that trailer. Mm hmm Wow. Yeah, get it on PC. I'm already joining, making my own esports team. That's well, I, I, I'm, you know what? Look, E3, I'm a cynical fuck. E3 has also reminded me that I'm a broke ass bastard. <laughs> There's a lot of games coming out that I want to yeah. buy that I'm gonna need to be able to pay for, especially if Katie's gonna be like, "Can you buy me this game too?" Uh, no. I'm, no. No. Can no. You no. Buy me a watch with numbers on it. <laughs> with that. Yeah, that's what she gets next year. I get her the I get her the numbers for the watch. Oh, by the way, here you go. Happy motherfucking birthday. You're the numbers like for the damn watch. Assemble it yourself. Yes, that's what it is. It's like a, it's a it's it's something you can get at Michael's. It's like a pro, little. I hobby see. Hobby I'm a cynical thing. fuck. I said I'm starting my own esports for Titanfall because a part of me really would love Titanfall. It's not going to. Cause it's not cross platform or mm -hmm. yeah, multi platform, not cross platform. Um, would want that to be the new. FPS everyone loves and it actually does develop an esports so all of the Call of Duty esports people are just mad and fucked and they have to move to a new game mm -hmm. very cynical like that okay, I don't care faster. should we dispense with the final breaks just go just blow right on through it talk about good things and oh, fuck it. all the things that, that we enjoy prism we got to get to prism because that, that prism. ties in that makes the Microsoft thing even worse trust oh. me so Katie you, you don't have to worry about sending us to break thank you though even though your color's wrong you're on gold. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be red. No. It's supposed to be black it now, just actually. Turn. Blah, 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 blah. 
Is the hand down? Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about what I found really interesting uh, coming out of E3. Go on. Batman Arkham Origins. I didn't see any. I watched the trailer, and this gets to the point that we were talking about earlier when we were talking about what is the difference between innovation and stagnation and taking what was good from a previous title and expanding on it. Where's that fuzzy line? It will look acceptable, unacceptable. Watching what I saw uh, live gameplay of Batman Arkham Origins is awesome. They have. Um, the world is a lot more vertical now. It's a lot more wide open, as is the story. The ability to flow in between quests as a younger Batman exploring Gotham City. Um, uh, Katie and I, we talked about, uh, what was that, the dynamic crimes or dynamic street crimes? Yeah, like um, you, you run into mobs that are more, well, yeah, mobs that are more mm -hmm. difficult than others. And if you decide that you don't want to fight them, you don't have to. And you can go between them and choose which ones you want to want to fight. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So they're like the dynamic street crimes. I'm assuming they're they're like stock, you know, bank robbery here versus there versus yeah. wherever. But um, you know, you don't have to do them if you don't want to. You can come back and revisit them, etc. And uh, the detective mode for it's it's hard to explain for somebody that hasn't played uh, any of the Arkham games, but. Many people have, and many people have seen it, I guarantee you. The, the detective mode used to be kind of a thing in the Arkham games where it's it, it was only contextually important. Only at certain times in the story did you really need uh, detective mode. And even then, it was it was pretty much just all done for you. You look here, you hold A, and then it's all done for you. And then you just you just go and continue on your way. It appears as though in the coming um, Arkham origins game that detective mode is a lot more intertwined with the story and it's a lot more dynamic and it, it, it's a lot more immersive and i thought that was perfect because I, I like detective mode but it just it was it didn't do anything it was just kind of there and it, it appears now as though they've expanded on it as well as keeping uh many other things and so i'm really really excited for for Arkham Origins, and it got me reading Batman comics and graphic novels. Yeah, why don't you talk about that, nerd? Why is it? Yeah, hell yeah, it's nerdy and it's cool. Katie got me some graphic novels. Thank you. I did. No Katie. problem. I think I she ones. got the better end of the deal. She got a watch and no numbers. <laughs> no, see, that's the no, no, no. See, she thought she was like, oh, I got a fucking watch. I got this jag awesome comic Bitch, books, I got whatever. The numbers and a and then over she here. right, and then she gets home. I'm like, bitch, ain't no numbers on that. <laughs> She's like, no! <laughs> and I'm fanning myself with the comic books. Uh, no, what were the... You watch, it's going to bite you in the ass. She's going to be late to the airport on the next visit. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yo, I thought it was, you know, five, but it's apparently like you're three that hours late. Like, over there. Oh, yeah, I put it on upside down. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even realize. Um, no, I got... What was the... It was the... Uh, it's a two graphic novels. Not the, not the big ones. One of the big one everybody said was The Killing Joke. And I, I've seen that, and I wanted to get it. I like kind of the more vanilla but modernized animations of Batman, not the more cartoony, like, blue boots with gray tights. It's, you know, darker. And, um, and uh, gosh, what was this one? It was the story of Gotham or something like that. It has to do with uh, Gotham City being created, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and the other one was... Um, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, something... Something to do with it. I don't oh, exactly. What was it called? I forget what it was called. But uh, but yeah, so I've got two graphic novels. Not not the big ones. That everybody's, not not Year One or Earth One or anything like that. Where'd you get them at? Uh, comic book store. Graham, Graham Crackers Comics. It's a chain around this area. I don't know if it's a national chain, but yeah, it's called Graham Crackers Comics. I used to go there back in the day. I bought some X-Men comics when I was a little guy. But I also bought Robotech RPG books there. Graham Cracker co Comics back in the day. Robotech RPG. For anybody that, that remembers Robotech RPG in after school programs, you bring out your dice, you get your Robotech books out, play some goddamn Robotech all up in that shit. Dude, it was awesome. They are planet sized mechs. The Zentradi? Fucking Zentradi all up in this shit, dude. Don't even don't even come at me. I would have respected you more if you said D D. 
why, dude? Fucking Robotech's got robots and stuff. You play rips, you can play as like a juicer. Ugh, you, you, know. you can play as a juicer, really? Was that your selling point to You're me right uncouth, there? You uncouth plebeian away with you. Yo, my attack is people throw. All right, tell me what you like to, but tell I me say, what. A, shut up! I tell me what you juice at them. No, no, they were clearly talking about doing steroids. And there were different classes of juicer that you could be. You could be a regular guy. You could be a titan juicer where you had immense strength, but you were really slow, et cetera, et cetera. Or you could be the ultimate juicer. Your character didn't live very long, but you had your your skin was hardened to the point that it could stop bullets, and you were incredibly strong and fast, but you again you didn't have a very long lifespan. Yeah. Wow. There's no anyway. that geek genie back in the bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kiss my ass. So I, I played. <laughs> tell me what you liked. Tell me what you liked about E3. Ah, Metal Gear Solid Five, Titanfall. I thought the ha- Halo trailer was cool because everybody's like, "What's this cool new game?" And that's like, mm-hmm. "Was I Master Chief?" Oh my God! Why was he wearing a hood for no reason? Yeah, I don't think he got cold. Um, I'm trying to think of some PS3. Oh, I don't care about. I'm with you. I don't care about Kingdom Hearts three because I never played a Kingdom Hearts game, but I understand everybody else did, and they love. Everybody the freaked out. It lost their minds. I was like, what? What? Is- that was before them announcing all their shit to beat Xbox, and right that alone. Yeah, everyone's like, "Oh my God, Sony won E3." I'm like, "Really? Because of this?" And, and then it later came out. It's like it's on all the it's on all the platforms, and like, oh. Well, it's I wouldn't I couldn't think of ever playing Kingdom Hearts on anything but a PlayStation console. I'm like, does that really fucking matter this day and age? Really? I don't know. Played on the PS2. Yeah, I guess. Um, the Division game from Ubisoft looks super fucking cool. Not on PC though. Which isn't right because it's an MMO. I don't think that's right. Which is the same thing for Destiny. They haven't confirmed PC yet, but more than likely it will mm-hmm. happen. And I don't know how By the way, let's take this time. Game. Let us know your favorite games that you saw from yeah. uh, from E3 in the comments. Yes. You can also tweet us, hashtag TNWIC. Yes. But let us know in the comments, VOD people, all that stuff. Let us know. We'll start a discussion. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how much I care about Destiny because it looks almost identical to Borderlands 2. The art style is pretty fucking similar, and just the gameplay itself looks a lot like I thought it, I didn't. Too. I didn't the think it was. Style? It's not cell shaded. What are you talking about? Hmm. I said similar. But it's it's got the cartoony look, but it's not so. Se- I mean, the setting of like a a modern post modern or futuristic dystopia. It just looked a lot. Yeah, no, no. I okay. I understand. Well, because keep in mind, Even Borderlands like the guns and stuff. Borderlands was originally designed to be vanilla. Borderlands yeah. originally the art style was supposed to. Ju- they were trying to make it look realistic, and then some guy just drew. Some guy was just, you know, fucking around. And he made it cell shaded and people were like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And so they decided to go with that. Yeah. I think Destiny disappointed a lot of people, to be honest with you, because it was like Bungie from the creators of Bungie. And everybody's hyped at the PS4 thing in February, like, oh, my God, Destiny. And I really think it's in the back of everybody's mirror right now. Like, everybody's mm-hmm. freaking out over, like, Titanfall, The Division, and a couple of other games. And I'm like, eh. Destiny doesn't look that great. I'm definitely not playing an MMO on the console. I, if I was ever to play an MMO, which I have, is uh, is the division on PS4? Yeah, it's on. You know, PS4, PS4 is rumored to have key, KB Xbox mod support. Rumored. That's yeah, cool, but I'm still not gonna get one just to play that game. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I still don't even think I'll be getting a next generation, generation, generation Generator. console right now because like there's no exclusives that are. Enough to sell me on a four hundred yeah. or five hundred dollar console. Like I said, Dead Rising three and Halo, I can wait on those until the console doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And mm-hmm. PlayStation four, there wasn't anything I saw that wasn't exclusive that I cared about. Yeah, I mean, I so wish, I, I wish I was at the point in YouTube where I could just be like, I'm buying both. People were like tweeting like, I pre-ordered two Xboxes and two PlayStation fours. Wow, well, uh, that's cool. So Which really cool. doesn't mean a lot because you can pre-order anything you want because you don't get charged until two days <laughs> yeah. before it comes out. So but, pre-order all the shit you want. Yeah, but I'm not. I I, I don't know if, if I get it. It's going to be a major purchase. And but hey, like and favorite, and it won't be that major of a purchase. And everybody go to Chiz's channel and like and favorite his videos. Uh, the new Infamous game looked cool. I haven't played Infamous one or two, but it looked cool. Uh, I played Prototype, and I hear they're very similar. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let's talk about Prism to close out the show because uh, we're talking about E3. I have a huge problem with the Connect issue. I want to talk about something, though. I forgot to bring this up. I want to talk about something either at the very end or we can get it out of the way now. Get it out of the way now. Let's see what we Okay, got. so what I tweeted got? this last night. Um, Achievement Hunter, a subsidiary of Rooster Teeth, as you know, Lefty has their own channel. Oh, I saw you tweet about channel. this. Oh, my God, I yeah. want to know. Yes, tell me. Yeah. I've never seen them do this before. Mm-hmm. They're very respectable people. They goof off. They say what they want. So they, they, when they do let's builds, they just build something in Minecraft, and then they go shoot that as a let's play later, and they upload those because fuck it, and they, you know, they're fun to listen to and just chill. Mm-hmm. They were having a discussion where uh, Jeff and Gavin play a game on their drive to work called Connect the Hots, where they see a hot woman and they follow her. And not really like stalker follow her, but they just follow that direction she's going until they find another hot one, and then they follow her and go in that way. You're going the okay. pathway of the hots. I thought nothing of this when I heard them discussing this and whatnot. But I started, and then I saw someone else that works there tweet out, oh, I guess people didn't really like that. So then I went back and started reading through the comments, and holy fuck, there was a giant feminist war going on in the comment section. Like, this is so disrespectful. Oh, my God, how could you uh, subjugate women like that? It's so bad and whatnot. And there was so much drama and flack for that little story that they ended up taking the video down. It's gone now, and they released a an apology on their site saying, hey, you know, we try not to censor ourselves. We just say shit. Sometimes we say some bad shit or whatever, and we apologize formally for it, you know. We don't agree with stalking people, which they don't, uh-huh. but they pointed out very specifically we don't agree with stalking people and whatnot. And I had the apology here, and I lost it. But they came out and said that. And I just couldn't believe that they took a video down. It, was, it caught that much. So what was like, so what was ah. exactly the problem? What did they do that was bad? That they were objectifying women and then following them. That was they the weren't problem. they weren't following them for the purposes of doing it. They were following no. their direction, and then they would see another one and, and change direction. Yeah, it was just a little game. And, that's and was the was. game to see if they could get to work just by doing that? No, it was just something they did on the way to work. Okay. Just. I don't know, really see the point of it because they even said, you know, sometimes he's like, that's why sometimes you see us come in at 8, and that's why sometimes you see us come in at 11, you know? So I didn't see the – it didn't even occur to me that this would be an issue when I – it just went, oh, that's a funny game, ha, ha, ha. Because then they went on and told stories about how they stopped in front of dudes and then just stop next to a dude who's walking, and then <laughs> Gavin will freak out in the passenger seat and go, 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 go. And mm-hmm. I thought it was silly. And people freaked the fuck out. I'm like, you were – Feminists are crazy at some of the shit they get. Were they mad saying about. lewd things about these women, or was it just? No. It was just okay. that they were hot. That's it. They said they well, were hot. There are hot women. Yeah, there are. There's one on this show. Where? <laughs> one of you are women. Oh, stop it, Katie! You know who I'm talking about. But uh, what? <laughs> That's one thing I'll never get about this community. It's just the the drive of everybody. To always be upset about something, and and to have it be the crime of a, of this, how dare you? I remember the, the the night that Woody on PKA met made that rape joke. Yeah, that was a bad, bad one. But it wasn't it wasn't bad. But I mean, the people that right, the people that you're out. saying you said this, and this means this, so that means you said rape is okay. Whatever. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. I, it's just, oh, pussification of America has just been, ugh. I, They did, they they, uh, they said, you know, we're not the kind of people to stifle your conversations and your personal opinions uh, going on in the comments. We're not going to say you can't say this, you can't say that, because people were bickering back and forth and mm-hmm. saying things. So they're like, we just took the video down, you know, and we'll try to watch what we say next time, but sorry this got taken out of no, hand. No, that's stupid. Don't watch what you say. That's why people watch Rooster Teeth. Is because they don't watch what they say. Yeah. Because if they why... tried to stop saying, you know, things that were uncouth, then they wouldn't be. That's that's not their gig. That's mm-hmm. that's not them. That, uh, whatever. Fuck those people and anybody that knows those people. Mm-hmm. And if you look like those people, fuck you too. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So wow, that was. I I didn't know what it was. Like, I thought maybe one of them had said something. You know, that they had thought would fly under the radar, and everybody kind of was like, whoa, 
you know, what, maybe the British guy would probably drop an N bomb or something. I well, because wish. that's just that that word is is a different connotation there. It's still wrong, but I mean, they're not shy about using it. And then um, I thought that was like it. I was like, oh, okay, well, this should be interesting. But just women are hot. Yeah, are you fun? pretty stupid. I, I thought it was incredible. It's not like the guy was like, yeah, I was raping this bitch. Yeah. We followed her into an alley. Yeah. And then with, with a tire iron. Yeah, I aborted amazing. the baby with a Coke bottle. It was awesome, man. All right, we've oh, skipped. God. It was. No. It, okay, so Prism. Nobody ever gets to talk about tinfoil hat bullshit ever again. The NSA, now, correct me if I'm wrong, it was the NSA, it was only disclosed or affirmed that the NSA grabbed the phone records, the aggregate phone records, not records of the conversations, not raw conversation files, but the this at this time, this number called this number for this long on this date and call. And... The NSA grabbed that from, I believe, thousands of Verizon wireless customers or Verizon telecommunications customers, grabbed those records or, or asked for them, and Verizon handed them over. And then it came out as a result of that that all these large tech companies, Google, Microsoft, and a bunch of other telecommunications Apple, companies, Facebook. Apple, Facebook, were readily handing over information on users. Well, originally, I think I read today that originally that was the case, but to the most, they found out the most effective way of going through and getting all this information was just asking and getting a direct feed into all of these companies' uh, databases. So just looking real, so just, just have, going through. They have direct feeds of everyone that goes on those sites or make makes calls with those services, and how it works is. Um, Edward Snowden, the whistleblower that leaked out the PRISM stuff and other documents, was it just grabs everything, email, photos. It just it, it just stores it. It doesn't do anything with it right now. It just mm -hmm. stores everything. But if you happen to hit a keyword or a justification in the eyes of the NSA that you need to be looked into, then they can penalize you and start digging through everything that they have backlogged on you to bring it up at whatever conjunction is now, which is wrong. Here, you know what? I'm going to get this show some free pub. You ready? Bomb a la. All right. Free pub. Well, now we're... There we go. If you're going to look into us... The least... NSA, do we get extra views? The, the NSA like doesn't run favorite. ad block. Like, like in favorite. <laughs> I don't think the NSA runs ad block. Like so. in favorite for Allah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a huge story. There's many layers, and we're, we're probably not as schooled on it as we should be, or as we could be if we, if we want to talk about it more. But um, this is a very, very, very scary time. Uh, people have kind of known this. I think everybody's kind of known this. I, everybody's no. all, everybody's joked about it. Everybody's no, so many people that are, were shocked when this came out. Like I mean, I was walking by and it's like, oh my god, they're doing. It. I'm like, yeah, Patriot Act, all these things. It's not new, you know. It's the prison it's, thing is new, but I mean, it doesn't surprise me. But it shocked the shit out of a lot of people. And it's right, been a but top the news story and the the worst days. part about it is is not. I mean, of course, the NSA just completely Fourth Amendment. Fuck you. That's wow. That's. The tree of liberty needs to re be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants kind of shit. That's what that is. But what makes it even worse is these huge corporations, especially a corporation like Google, who when they were first starting out said, we, we want to protect the privacy of, of our users because when you start not doing that, that's when you start showing contempt for your users, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and they just, oh, NSA, you want the records? Here. Now, I know a lot of people say, well... They, they're, it's not like they're it. listening to you real time, et cetera, et cetera. You don't think they have that capability? Because for a while, you didn't think that they were listening at all. Now you find out that they've got your phone records. Let's, let's just let's say oh, phone. I don't, I don't think you know this, but this was interesting. This came out the other day, I think. Mm -hmm. The guy, this dude has, I mean, he came out and said he's like, because the, the U.S. said this guy has endangered the United States. He's a tyrant, things like that. Mm -hmm. And he's like, and they're at, they asked him, like, well, did you do this for personal gain or whatever? And he's like, I had I had the contacts for everyone that worked at the NSA, the CIA. I had the, you know, people that are in overseas in other countries that are, you know, 
undocumented and you know in those countries and whatnot. I had an entire list of those people. If we have open door policies, much like Russia, so if we can you know if they want information, I can sell it to them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. If this was for financial gain, I would have done it. This was just for the the privacy issue. And I don't want to live in that kind of country and whatnot. And he said, it's funny because he's in Hong Kong, which is more lefty. I want to say part of China. It's yes. not like Beijing. It's more. It's uh, a liberal. They don't have the China. giant firewall and all that kind of shit. They have mm -hmm. freedom of speech. That's why he's there. And he came out and said, he's like, yeah, um, the United States has hacked the has hacked China like twenty one thousand times or some shit like that. And not individual things, but the big routers that go out to hundreds of thousands of people or whatever. Mm -hmm. The United States has done that. He told them that. I mean, it, the shit this guy knows. Maybe it, a month till he dies. But no. it's it's not it's the the complete disregard the complete and utter not even not even going for a warrant not even and even what judge would it like it, it I'm I'm tr struggling to think it might even be worse if they had a warrant to get all these records it might even be worse if the NSA just said we want these phone records because maybe there's a terrorist there. And they went to a judge, a federal magistrate, who yeah. said, okay, sign yeah. the paper, here's your warrant, go get the... That might even be worse, because, mm -hmm. you know, well, they can't listen to real time. Number one, you don't think they can listen to real time if they really want to? Yeah, they can. Of course they can. Of course. Come on. Just like, the, just like the people that say, oh, the, the Connect, Microsoft won't even be able to monitor you real time with the Connect. You really... You really think that? You really think that they won't be able to monitor? Because the Kinect does have to send data real time to other people if you're using mm -hmm. Skype and all that stuff. It does. You don't, you, you don't think they can monitor that? And also, here's, here's the, the, the scary part. They know, let's say, that you called your girlfriend. They know you at last week, Monday, you called your girlfriend. And you talked for an hour and a half. And then you hung up. And then immediately, you called Planned Parenthood and talked for 35 minutes. And then hung up. Now, they weren't listening real time to what you were doing. They didn't hear anything that you said. But what might somebody be able to tell from just those facts? They could be... Just completely, they could be, you know, completely unrelated. But what's the what's the chance there? Maybe your girlfriend told you she was knocked up. You got to call Planned Parenthood to get an abortion. Maybe. Well, they didn't listen real time. They weren't paying attention real time. And and people are okay with this. This is okay. This is in any way acceptable. No, it it shouldn't be. And I feel. You know, and, and talking about, tie this back into to video games, talking about the Kinect. If you say, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. What's your problem with not buying it? Just don't buy it and shut up. Well, it's bigger than that. It's a lot bigger than that. Because I'm trying to protect, I think it's it's partly my duty, partly the duty of other people, to protect those that are either willfully ignorant or just ignorant because... And protect them from themselves. Yes, you do have the right to this privacy. But just because you don't make use of it doesn't mean it's it's fair game for the government to take away. Because what if one day you do have something to hide? What if one day you do have something to hide from the NSA? You smoked pot once at a party. You did coke. And you were scared. And you wanted to call. Or you did... You started using heroin. And it was, it was a needle somebody else had used. And you didn't know. So you called your buddy, the heroin dealer. You said, did, who else did you see using that needle at the party? So then you call your HMO and you get an AIDS test. You get an HIV test because you'd make sure you don't want to get HIV. You, didn't, you don't have anything to hide from the NSA, do you? What if, how many people try to get Call of Duty early from stores and they don't know who got it? Because Microsoft says if you get a copy early, you can play the games early on our servers, no big deal. But if you stole the copy, if you're playing a stolen copy, we will shut down your Xbox. Well, a lot of people that buy games early don't know where they come from. What if you get a copy early of Call of Duty and you're playing that and Microsoft decides, well, you're playing it early and that's okay. But we think 
the the serial the SKU number associated with that disk you're using, well, that was in that was supposed to be in a shipment that got stolen from a warehouse a couple of weeks ago. Now your Xbox is off. You didn't know, and but you did know that you found out hard, harshly that you had something to hide from Microsoft. And so yes, you do need to have some amount of privacy, and the fact that so many people are willing to give it up so readily is just absolutely frightening to me and saddening. Katie, your thoughts? No comment. What do you mean no comment? Wow, on... Ralph Nader. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that, of course I think that you know people have right to their privacy, and I think it's absolutely mm -hmm. absurd that a lot of people are just okay with it. Like, I've thought about it at first, you know, and I was just like, well, I don't really think that there's a big deal, but then I actually thought about it even more, and I was like, but that's really bad. Like, I don't want someone that I don't know knowing my crap. Not that I have anything to hide, but I don't know Who them. Who you talk to, when you talk to them, how you talk to them. Exactly. And then if you no, say something maybe they don't like or they talk to somebody that you don't know but they, they, they don't like, then all of a sudden they're actually reading what you have to say. Exactly. Chiz, your thoughts as we wrap it up. we got five minutes left in the show. Yes. Oh, come on. you got more than that. Speak. I my piece. I totally don't agree with it. Okay. Just making sure. You can You're go back to making to your, your little nose thing. What's the point? It, it's funny. People... People get up in arms when you threaten the First Amendment, oh, freedom of speech, blah, blah, blah. Up in arms, blowing shit up over the Second Amendment. But the other ones... Only the like, South, though. Yeah, but the other ones, it's like, oh, there's more? Like, did anyone name the Third Amendment? Oh, the Fourth one? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, the Fifth one, I remember that one, because I, oh, I was going by the Second Amendment, so they had to read me the Fifth one. I know that one. Uh -huh. The Fourth one, it's like, oh, you want to fuck me over on that one? Pfft, it's okay, no big deal. You know? It's just fucking bullshit. Go watch and it's Person all going away. Go watch Person of Interest. <laughs> you would like it. I, okay. That's all it is, is that. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, it's all going away and people couldn't, I guess that's the worst part is that it's going away and people couldn't seem to be happier about it going away. Like something is actually, be, like, yeah, we're safe now. Like, but the liberties are more important than your safety, than my safety. More important. It's funny. I think Bill O'Reilly was like, this really didn't work with the whole Boston bombing thing. And then a bunch of other people went on to list off recent tragedies that have happened. You know, the Newtown shooting, all those mm -hmm. things. Like, so is this thing really helping us? You know, the invading everyone's civil liberties, all that. Is this really worth, how many things have you stopped? And it's like, yeah, we've stopped a couple. Maybe. We don't know. Maybe. Like You've been trapped, his, people. The guy who brought the car bomb to, like, Madison Square Garden or whatever and locked his keys inside right, the Right, the guy car. who was in... The, that guy, the guy who did it in Chicago, who was entrapped by the FBI, who gave him the explosives. Here you go, do something with this. Oh, I made a bomb. Ha, <laughs> arrested. It's like, yeah, you caught all the stupid people. Good job. <laughs> That's your job. It's not, it's not my job to help you, FBI, CIA... By giving up my rights. No, your job is to work around that, is to work within those confines to make, pe pe make people as safe as possible. Yes, I know I can go somewhere and get blown up. I know I can. That is how our legal system, how our system of laws, our rule of law is set up. Bad guys can abuse those liberties to do bad things sometimes. That's okay. Our judicial system is set up such that it's okay if 10 guilty men go free, so long as not one single innocent man goes to jail. That's the way it works. It's not designed to work every time. It's not designed to keep everybody safe. It's designed to preserve the liberties. That's what it's designed to do. But I need to be safe, me and my Tucker. We're See, going on a plane. I don't think a lot of people see it as being bad. I just think they see it as being a futile situation, so they really can't do anything about it. Especially if they have flamethrowers. <laughs> well, we don't have them. The Army has them. Over there. I'd say we're fucked if we have to go up against the Army, wouldn't you? They have flamethrowers. They do have flamethrowers. Gee, I really wish I'd set those people on fire over there. Over there. Well, they could throw flame onto them. 
<laughs> well, he thought it would end it there, but he mentioned it to his buddy. His friend who was, was good, good with, with tools. tools. He came back a month later and said, hey, quite a concept. <laughs> then the army came up and said, we'd like to buy, buy, buy about 500,000 of them, please. Yes, give us 500,000 and paint them all dark brown. Did anybody want to see them? All right, anyway, we're going to step out of here. That's not why you called episode seven. It's a great show. Chiz has got his new microphone. He's all excited about it, so you should like for his microphone because he's all excited. That's going to be his new thing, and it's already just so annoying <laughs> that he does it when people are talking about things and they just he distracts from the show. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> but anyway, we thank you guys for joining. Our, all of our respective links are in the description. You can follow all of us on Twitter. Check us out on YouTube. Subscribe. Like and favorite the stream. It does help us out. Like and favorite all our videos so we can buy next gen consoles. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out. See you next Thursday. That's not why you called. 7 p.m. Central Standard slash Daylight Time. Every, 7 p every Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Right here. You got that sound why you called. Thank you guys for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out. Peace. What? You thought of that? Yeah. I was okay. like, would I, would I, would I run like a bitch or would I? No, I would protect <laughs> Katie. And I was like, would I, would I fight well, if, back no, no, to no, protect no. What, her? Not if she had already landed. What if she, you were waiting? Like, it's like, oh, she's got 15 minutes and she's going to land. And then shit breaks loose and people oh, are going, I'm hiding in the toilet. <laughs> I'm in the stall. Just like, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting. Well, you're not on the ground yet. Okay. Once you hit the ground, I'm super fucking commando special op shit. Okay. <laughs> but. Until that point, I am I am conserving my energy in the in the bathroom stall with my feet up. So if they do the if they do the look thing, if they like, what if, if they kick the door open? What? Oh, then I, I'm in the last one and I jump out and break the door like Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies. It's basically going to be that scene. If terrorists try to take over the airport, it's that scene in True Lies with uh, with the terrorists in uh, in the bathroom in the mall. And then I'm going to get on a horse. I'm going to find a horse, get on it, ride it through the terminal, and pick Katie up. You've seen that movie so many times. It's such a great movie. It I've is, seen it too many times. It's, it's a good movie. No, there's no such thing as too much True Lies. Uh, there, there is. No, there isn't. No such thing as too much True Lies. Because that is one of the, one of the great Arnold Schwarzenegger roles. Especially because, oh, oh, what's his Tom Arnold is Tom perfect. Tom Arnold is good in it, yeah. Tom Arnold is amazing really in that role as just the degenerate, like, I've got, like, five different wives. and Because uh, that's him. That's his character. Yeah, that's Tom Arnold. And, uh, and, yeah, so True Lies. If you haven't seen it, please do. It's on UMC. Or not UMC. AMC it's all on, the time. AMC, yeah. AMC and TNT occasionally. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good. Directed by James Cameron for the longest time. I didn't know that until I watched Entourage that James Cameron directed True Lies. Oh, no. Didn't well, know that. News for day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's your news from the day. Anyway, that's our time, guys. We got to get out of here. That's the show. I'm just kidding. Bye. <laughs> like and favorite. Like and favorite. Anyway, hashtag TNWYC is is uh, is when we when you want to get in touch with the show. So, how you liking the new mic? Everybody, let us know in the comments of the video how Chiz sounds, not those those horse sounds that he's making. I wasn't trying to make them, but now I want to make them. <laughs> I'm going to stay out of this one. Gosh. Come on, Katie. Just do one. No, I'm good. Just do one. I'm fine. The I'm viewers fine. want it. Really? You have that red mane, though. I want it. Yeah, that is... No. I want to see it done. No. <laughs>
Welcome, that's not why you called episode 7. We are back after a brief hiatus. Very brief, we took a week off. I am your host, Lefty, welcoming everybody. I said that's not why you called, didn't I? I said that's not why you called, because I screwed up all the time, because I'm an awful, awful host. Anyway, hashtag TNWIC, that's not why you called episode 7, locked in for you right here. As Chiz lights up a cigarette, welcome all of you, and as always, we appreciate as we get started. If you like the stream, I do love seeing those rolls of like ratings coming on the Twitter. And of course, it also, if you want to help out the show and help us grow as a show, as a community, that's a great way to do it. So if you like something we say, hit the like button. Um, if you don't like it, hit that like button all the same, because screw it. <laughs> anyway, I'm your host, Lefty. You can follow me at Lefty643 on Twitter. Across the way there is my uh, my cancerous co-host, at Dr. Chiz. You can follow him on Twitter. His Also, his YouTube uh, link is in the description, and I'm going to unmute you guys, so if you say something, you can actually be heard now. I'm oh, out of practice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was nice. I was making, because you said I like some rolls, so I was like, you like some rolls? Well, everybody got to see you do the pantomime. And I repeated it twice, because I was Everybody like, got to see you do the pantomime. Mime, so it's not that big of a deal, is it? But they don't know the reason. And of course, Katie, it. our lovely. Know, I was just having a weird outrage and just scratching myself. Well, that's <laughs> why is that so far out of line with how you normally are on the show? It's not. But just they... randomly touching yourself, just like ah, love it. Anyway, and our lovely producer, Katie. Everybody, say hi to Katie. Hi, Katie. Maybe later, not now. Why? <laughs> wow. What? Okay. Now I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> Because it can't be done in a public setting. Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, what this horse no, no. noise involves. Are you just gonna? Are you gonna start stamping your foot? Should I get some <laughs> sugar cubes? Do I get some sugar cubes and a carrot, maybe? Or something? Sounds good. Yep. <laughs> this is the best segment ever of this show. <laughs> Probably ever. You had a week to play horse. All right, let's calm it down a bit. <laughs> and whores. We played horse oh, and horse. You stop. <laughs> I don't even know what that has to do with anything, but it just it makes you uncomfortable. So I'm going to giggle like an idiot. Yeah, why would you get offended by that unless you are a whore and nobody knows? There's no reason to get offended, and you're not a horse. So You're not a horse. Those things should just... I don't think. You don't you think? Really? Well, you don't think. <laughs> anyway. Um, so in the, in the breaker. stead, in our stead last week, what's Steed. been going on? <laughs> Steed, again, back to the horses. <laughs> so, uh, Chiz, what have you been doing on your YouTube channel? If you want to check them out, youtube.com slash Dr. Coffee MD in, uh, in the description. You've been uploading. What have you, what's that, uh, what's that zombie, the moon zombie? I Is that a did. mod? Yeah, or? it's a mod. Okay. Please explain. We played higher which this particular map designer revolves everything around 420 and he makes good maps. And then now that's being uploaded is Moon. And it's really interesting. I've never played one like that because it's not usually there's like a Bible ending that will you win or you mm -hmm. just try to last forever. This one, it's whoever ends up with the highest score and you just keep going forever. And okay. you're just killing zombies. They drop guns, COD 4 guns. You pick them up and shoot them. And I might run around with M40 going, ah! <laughs> So this is a mod for um for what for what game? Call of Duty World at War for Steam. You can go ahead and get it for nineteen ninety nine right now. Lefty currently has it. Maybe he'll play some custom zombies with me one day if he's not busy jerking off to little Nay Nay over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I love me some horse porn. Oh my God! Good stuff. Oh. Equestrian. <laughs> When that shit comes on in the on in the fucking on like NBC you gotta get or something. Like the two tone ponies, the two tone, not all black. You know, like <laughs> some red and some white in there. You know. Hi. So, Katie, Hi, why did Katie. we? <laughs> Jiz, you got new tech. New I microphone. New tech. Yes. Pretty. See. Mm hmm. Looks familiar. I got a loop. Does it? Lo it looks familiar, doesn't it? I've seen that microphone somewhere else before. I'll put my shirt up. I, over this part of it, so I, it looks the same. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Actually, this is an undersized one. This is supposed to be for a normal microphone. And as you can see, Chiz, the Rode Procaster is just a... It's a big fucking black dick. <laughs> it's a two-pound <laughs> mic. It's it metal. is. It is. It's a, it's a gigantic... It's bigger than the, uh, than the Electro Voice <clears throat> RE20, I think, which is what a lot Enjoyed. of radio guys use. But no, this, this is a standard microphone 
I don't know, whatever the standard size is for handheld microphones. And this, I got this, this, um, this windscreen at, uh, at Radio Shack. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll fit. It'll fit. And no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Barely the tip. Barely. It's just the tip. Oh, God. Quite the literally. That matters. Quite, <laughs> quite literally, just the tip of, um, on the microphone. Anyway, if you want to get in touch with the show, if you want to reach us live directly, you can tweet us hashtag TNWYC on Twitter. Just add that to your tweet anywhere, pound. and uh, and we will see a pound pound sign TNW pound time. Pound time. It's also pound time for a week. Last week, pound time. Oh Last- my god! Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> I, 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 Stop I, I had to do it. I did. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, Bones. No, no. Bones. <laughs> Bones. 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 <laughs> Every, I want to see everybody oh. tweet me pictures of you bonesing your screen right now. Today. No, <laughs> bones. No, no, no. Not that kind of boning your screen. No. No, that was last week. All yes. right. Let's get it right, folks. <laughs> so segue, before you started talking about my new tech, you were gone last week. We were gone last week. We took the week off on, uh, on Thursday because Katie made a little trip. I did. Hmm. Big trip. <laughs> no, big trip. Whoa, what are you insinuating? Was that a... Wait. Well... If it's a fat joke, it's bad. But if no. it's a, if she's talking about something else, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I told you I'd you find a way understand. to work that. In. I Not told. Ten minutes in. I told you I would find a way to work that into the show. It's good. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, Katie, uh, I I flew Katie out here, so we spent a we spent a week together. I'm sorry, you guys are very important to me. I'm seeing I'm seeing all the likes coming through on Twitter right now, and I appreciate every single one of them. I really do, and I thank all of you. Ah, see, there we go, at Music OG. Oh, there's Cody Burke on Twitter. Everybody, hashtag me the bones. Love it. Uh, of course, hashtag TMWIC. No, um, I love you all of you, and thank you all for for everything. But um, Katie and I were spending some time together, and um, and it was very special. And I just, you know, it was it was the last night, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, we wanted to. It was. Yeah. Yeah. So what did we do? Oh yeah, we went and got drunk with my dad. We did. Right? We did, and we solved it. Wait, you did. Weird three didn't. way. You didn't. No. Why not? Wow. Oh, never mind. That's right. You didn't. Goddamn right. He was in Canada at the time. Lefty lives in Toronto. I do. I am from <laughs> Toronto. Run with it. And Alberta, <laughs> at the same time. I am really Canadian. Hey, <laughs> no, uh, Katie didn't get drunk, but she was there and she helped solve all the world's issues. And so it, it was a, it was a fun time. She got to she got the whole experience, as it were. And um, don't you mean you got the whole experience? No, no, no. She got the whole experience. Many done times. Yet? What? Stop it! I was talking about recording videos. God, I was, I was telling you. I was showing you without a W. Ho. Oh! Yeah, but uh, no, we re- we actually recorded some videos. I involved her in my process. Oh God! <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Oh, that really wasn't. I swear to God, it wasn't. But oh, um, <laughs> wow. So yeah, it was fun, and uh, you know what? There's some. There could be some good things coming from that. What? Katie had a really nice time out here. Did you not? I did. I, okay. I did. Everybody like and favorite so that I can afford to fly Katie out here more often. Perhaps on a permanent basis. Like and You're going to fly her on a permanent basis? Why not? That doesn't seem very... Yeah, I'm just going to keep her going around the world. Yeah, I'm going to buy a G4 jet and just keep it... You know what? I'm going to okay. liaise... I don't like planes, but why not? I'm going to liaise with the, with the Air Force so she can just have KC-135 tankers just all the, all the way just flying around the world. This could work for you. She doesn't like planes. Put her in a situation where you're her hero... And you land the plane. So I'm like that guy from Unbreakable. I'm Samuel L. Jackson from yes. Unbreakable, where I'm just inciting huge disasters. Except I'm the one inciting it, but I'm the one trying to be the hero. Exactly. Hmm. You know, work. I thought about that. I was like, what happens if I'm if I go to the airport to pick her up and there's like a shooting at the airport? 